unfair. That is more than something you want. Because that person is a hustler that says, I'm not going to win a $200 commission. I'm going to take that shit too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel my interest and I'm going to keep the referral fee. <laughs> That sounds like something you would do. <laughs> that should <should> right. <laughs> well, Amazon you know, won't let me do it. I tried, y'all. Amazon says it's a conflict of interest. You cannot make money off your own purchases. I'm like, but I buy so much, really. So I got to get somebody else's link for real. And we're going to exchange links. This ain't going down like this. You know? <laughs> I love it. Love it. <laughs> well, we're right. gonna do, but, well, we're going to do it better than Amazon. We are going to be able to pay referral fees on your own purchase, okay? That, that, that's, an, that's an established practice now. Oh, you uh, talk my love language. Yay! <laughs> well, my, name is, my name is Don Daniel. I'm the founder of Pill Method International, a better way to eliminate debt. And I have a book by the same name, which happens to be um, in the top 100 on Amazon for the last 33 straight months. That's the power of this information. Right now, for the last 87 years, people have been paying about 75% more interest than they need to because people have not been taught how an amortization schedule actually works. We use education and a proprietary um, com uh, cloud-based computing system to defeat the banks at their own game, cutting interest costs by 75%. Therefore, you can grow equity at five times the regular rate, take cash out years early to buy more properties at a much lower interest cost, and I mean by tens and even hundreds of thousands of dollars saved, which is money you can now reinvest yourself. So this is what the pill method does. We help people to save money, and we take that money and help them to grow wealth with that money. Uh, my name is Don. I'm done speaking, except for to say my tin card, my 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 card, my, my digital card is don10k.com, don10k.com, don10k.com. Here we go. Now you're gonna have someone go to dial don10k.com three times in the URL. I'll come back to you and say it's not working. Guys, it's Don10k.com. That's it. <laughs> Don, I think that was actually one of your best commercials right here. Your presentation today on stage, I think, was one of the best commercials and the best way for you to explain exactly what you do and one of the ways we can actually use your service to move forward in the real estate game. What do you think? I think so. If, if, uh, if you are a real estate investor, um, no one is paying attention to their interest costs taking that money, saving tens and even hundreds of thousands of dollars that can be reinvested that you don't have to give to the bank. It is a wonderful thing and it's something that needs to be put out and it's been overlooked for 87 years. Love it, love it. So one of the things that we do, guys, is once you go and you sit in a one of the seminar, which he's not going to sell you anything, it's not one of those seminars, and you understand exactly how his business works, and how we can actually help clients to the point where you can go and explain to clients how his business works and how it's going to help clients. Then Don can be listed on your um, meet the sponsors um, list. So if someone decides to do business with Don through your link, you can be paid for two, you can be paid two hundred dollars on every client that you send Don. It actually onboard and use a service. So we'll put that one a little later. Now, Mr. King Jello is in the building, guys, and here's what I want to show you. Whenever you speak of workaround, I'm the king of workaround. When you speak of meticulous system and streamlining process, that's where Chicken Jello comes in. So we're building different ways of work with influencers here in Clubhouse. And in Jello's room, we actually met our biggest influencer to date on the app. And after being inspired by that influencer, we created a way to set up is a designated payment link for that gentleman. So whenever he is in a room and he mentioned that he's using a 10K card, if someone decided to purchase a card from him and they click on his customized link, he's going to be working through the payment platform and he'll be getting a higher commission on that transaction for being one of the paid moderators by 10K cards. Also, he's registered with payment as well as an affiliate member 
So when people decide to onboard, when people decide to join the payment through his affiliate link, he's also being paid on that individual when they register with payment. Now, if I didn't believe in um, Jason and what he's doing, there's absolutely no way I would be public endorsing him. I mean, we, we might make some money in the DMs, that's fine, but me to publicly put myself out there with him, yeah, that's, that was not going to happen. So I'm absolutely happy and grateful to have Jason on stage. Jason, introduce the members to, um, to who you are, please. Thank you, 10K, and I hope everybody in the room, hope everybody's doing well um, and keeping safe. My name is Jason King, the founder of Payment Financial, P-E-Y-M-Y-N-T, which is an invoice and payments and expense tracking platform designed for influencers, creatives, freelancers, and service-based businesses. So in short, think of payment as the alternative to PayPal and Square, um, currently available in 37 countries. Uh, additionally, we have an affiliate program, which we are paying out $100 per uh, business that you uh, recruit into the payment platform, um, converting over from these PayPal's and Squares of the world. So uh, to visit uh, the payment platform, to register with the payment platform and the affiliate program, please visit payment.com, P-E-Y-M-Y-N-T. Those details are in my bio, um, and I look forward to continuing this uh, relationship that 10K and I have to empower the communities that we're currently serving. So I uh, appreciate you, brother. I'm just getting my day started, so hope everybody's doing well. King Jada, one of the disclaimers of um, the business with 10K cards is if I buy into you, there's no end as to how far we're going. There's no get rid getting rid of me, okay? I just want to put a disclaimer out there. I will stalk you. I'll find you. Because once I'm for you, that's a game over. <laughs> um, let me see. So the hundred dollars. Sorry, you first. <laughs> I got a quick question, King. Mm -hmm. uh, go first. This is Don Daniel. Listen, one of my clients. Um, let's say they want to come on board, and we use the the uh, payment platform for them to um, uh, to transfer their funds. When does uh, when will the pill method get those funds um, deposited into the pill method bank account? Are you talking about the affiliate program, correct? No, sir. I'm talking about if somebody wants to pay for my service and we use the, the payment platform for them to pay me. Got it. Got it. Okay. So it takes uh, two business days for AC. I mean, for credit card, debit card payments. Um, and it can take up to seven business days, depending on uh, the bank um, that's for ACH bank payments. Um, and we also offer instant payouts uh, with the payment debit card. Uh, so once you've been with us for a couple months, then we'll send you out an email that you can register with the payment debit card. Um, so you can receive instant payouts as well. We like that. We like that. <laughs> so Jason, how often do you pay out the hundred dollars when a client come on board? Uh, once a month, once a month between the first and tenth of each month. That's perfect. Yeah, so it's all in it is all in all in the, the terms of service uh, terms of the uh, affiliate program uh, before you register. Um, additionally, we only pay out through our pay me link, which is our alternative to Cash App and Venmo. Um, so you receive those emails on a weekly basis to all affiliates, um, just making sure that everybody is registered with the, uh, uh, of course, with payment, have a payment account, as well as set up their pay me link, which functions like Cash App and Venmo. So we pay out everything through the payment platform. All right. So... Um, let me see, Melissa, a hundred bucks. Um, okay, let me send this to that boom. Guys, in full transparency, I'm going to share something with you guys, but it's still a room. Yes, she is. Give me one second. In full transparency, I'm going to share something with you guys just now. Because I believe in being completely transparent. Can Melissa, I say, uh, can I say something? It, go, go for it, Queen. King j -Lo, since we are in this room with 10K, and you just told us about how we can register with payment. Shouldn't we be going to 10K's link and registering through there so that he gets the um, affiliate payment? I love you, Carmen. Here's the good news. Here's the good news, Carmen. Two things. 
Um, and I want everyone in the room here to listen to me carefully. I love the observation that you just made there, Queen. So, King Jilla can always make sure you, you channel the client through us. That's number one. Number two, and I want everyone to hear me. Every dollar that I'm going to make from our affiliation with uh, King Jello, every dollar I'm going to put back into marketing and promoting and uplifting others within the community. So when I signed up with King Jello, I and I want everyone to hear what I'm going to say right now. It's not to make money on the referral, but it's to build both of our businesses together. Because I see what he's doing, I respect what he's doing, and I'm in love with his mission. And most importantly, whenever you find a mission that's way stretched beyond yourself, you want to get involved with it. So he's definitely doing a great thing. And Carmen, thank you so much for bringing that to awareness. So I make sure that we are all on our P's and Q's because when you do register as an affiliate member, you want to make sure you're getting every credit that is deserving um, to be channeled through you. So thanks for bringing that to, that to our attention. Also, where Jill is concerned, I can guarantee you we're both on the same page. And benefit from the community is our number one priority. We've met together on several rooms together, and just find ourselves blessing different members within the group. Because when you see the need to step up and deliver, that's what I want us to do. You know, I've seen Jewish people come together and work with each other in the benefit of the community and really raising and elevating each other. And I just want to create an environment where we as a coach can start doing that for our own people as well. If someone comes and lets say they don't have the money in their pocket or whatever, you should be able to the come to the left of you or the right of you and be able to get some kind of assistance. Because everyone is valuable for something to each and every one of us. And we just need to identify each other for what those values include. Okay, so Carmen, thank you so much for bringing that to, um, to our attention. And uh, every time someone signs up with payment, we normally put their payment tracking ID onto their card. So whenever they're promoting their 10K card again and they want to sign up with payment, this is why it's very important to always tell anyone, click on the link in my bio, access my 10K card, and register with payment. That way you're not only promoting the affiliate uh, process, you're also promoting your 10K card. So while you're promoting your 10K card, yep, 10K is getting attention, but also all the other items in your card as well will be paid some attention to as well. How, do, what's, how is that response, Sarah Carmen? That is awesome. Um, and basically, I just learned that from being in the room. And guys, I'm just new to this. Like, uh, the first time I heard about 10K was Sunday. And within, they talked to me about 10 minutes, I already got my 10K card. So I'm still learning. But as I was sitting in some of the, uh, I came back in maybe twice. And uh -huh. I listened to how, um, to how King 10K does business and so once King JLo just said that I'm like well, we're in his room and he has the payment on his um on his 10k card because I asked a question last week about how we can link like maybe sell a digital project product or something like that on our 10k cards and and then get paid what when would we be able to do that and he was like Queen we already have that and so right. he sent me his link. I mean, he sent me, he said, go to his 10K card and register for payment. And so that made sense to me that if we're in this room right now and you're coming in and the first time you're going to hear about payment um, and you're actually hearing it from the founder himself that you um, bless the person whose room we're in and hearing it. I love, I love what you're saying there, Carmen, and I'm going to pick up on two points. To, to Jason's defense, he is more of the engineer guy to put everything together. I'm the sales professional. So sometimes when we're more laser focused on the sales professional and the allocation and so on, that is almost like secondary King Jello. And again, I'm coming to his defense in that one. And, and I'm really, not, listen, listen, I'm not uh, saying anything bad about King Jello, though. I'm that's only, right. I'm only learning from you. Uh, I was in the room with King J-Lo, uh, you know, the same room. I, one of the days I heard him, when I heard about it, I, I heard a little bit more about payment as well. So, um, King J-Lo, that was not putting you down at all, but that was actually just an observation for any of us. Like, if you're hosting a room, and I guess that's all, that's what you're talking about when you are when you talk about this sponsorship thing, because that's not really clear in my head as yet. 
but when you're holding a room and you're talking about 10k cards you're going to tell the person go to your 10k card you know by the way guys it's carmen 10k.com so you go there <laughs> i love it <laughs> to, touch on, to touch on what you just said again carmen that was the second point i wanted to go to and guys i'm loving what's happening here and i really want to have everyone embrace everything that's taking place here just ask any question that you want to ask here's another second point i want to touch on carmen and i'm going to make it known to everyone one of the ways the sponsorship of the rooms are going to be um are done is whenever the person at the top left corner is moderating the room whatever is being promoted in that room all of those sales must pass through the person at the top left corner and i'll tell you i'll tell you guys why we are opening up the platform for everyone to host their own room. I'll say this again nice and slowly. We're opening up the platform for everyone else to host their own room. That's why I'm here. That's why Don is here. That's why King JLo is here. And I know pretty shortly Bam is going to pop up in the building just now. And when Bam pop up, all of the 10K Bam, all of the, um, the Bam eco members, we're going to surprise them with our, uh, with our logo. And I'm uh, you know, Bam, when you see this Bam, that he go all the week, can't help himself. So, back to your point, uh, Carmen, which was well said, by the way. Every time something is being promoted in the room, they will always send it to the person at the top left corner. And the way to cure that problem of inequality or unfairness is for everyone to open up their own room. And when you Hallelujah. open up your own room, oh yeah, when you open up your own room, we as the founders of these different companies, we will come and spend time in your room to give you more credibility, to bring more audience, and most importantly, to add more value. But the close of every transaction must always go to the person at the very top left or an appointed member. If the, In fact, I'll take it a step further. Whenever I'm opening up rooms from now on, if I'm not available, the person that's going to be responsible for having all the sales pass through them, I'm going to make sure I rearrange the moderators so that person end up right next to me. So if I have to leave the room for whatever reason, they'll deal with the person on the left. So we're going to build a mindset of when you go to the room, find the person on the top left, that's the person you need to be doing business with. What do you guys think of that so far? That's pretty cool. <laughs> that has been a standing rule in this house since I've been here. I don't know about the new people, but that's been a standing rule since I've been here. And, you know, for those of us who are from corporate, we already know the rules of the house. It's, it's not our house. It may be our party, but it's not our house. And that's how I was raised. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Um, I concur. Oh, sorry. I'm, first of all, congratulations, Melissa, and welcome to BAM. BAM! Yes, I, want us to share, I want us to share with the audience with this happened. Are you okay with that? Yes. All right, guys. So, Melissa hosted the room yesterday, and um, she listed us as the sponsor of her room. And... Uh, I sponsored one of the clients a 10K card. And uh, the mother of the client came into our room last night and Melissa said, Sean, I want to sponsor the mom a card. And uh, I said, okay, no problem. Melissa said, send me the payment um, link. I said, okay, one second. Melissa was not signed up with BAM as yet, guys. I said, Melissa, I want you to take that 100 that you were just going to send me. I'm going to send you another 100 and you're going to go buy a BAM membership. Because when she pays for her BAM membership, now she can add BAM as one of the sponsors to her rooms whenever she is hosting her rooms. So whenever she is hosting her rooms and someone wants to sign up with BAM, every time someone signs up, Melissa, you're going to get $100 from BAM. How does that sound? Freaking amazing. Freaking okay. amazing. And, uh, yeah, and what we're going to do as well, because now that we're using the payment platform, to do all of our clubhouse collaboration, we're going to be doing the payout on the same day. So whenever you host a room and you get a client that makes a purchase, you're going to get compensated from us the same damn day. So we're going to be using clubhouse from now on <laughs> as the joint to go get your lunch money. <laughs> I'll take I that love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is going to be exciting stuff, man. And, uh, you know, so we spoke on Don the Bill Method, we spoke on 10K cards, we spoke on JLo. And JLo, you say you normally pay out commissions between the first and the tenth of every month. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. Beautiful. So everyone that owns which, which which we may implement as long as everybody has a payment link, we may implement paying that out once a week. 
So I'm glad yeah, you just we, mentioned what you just mentioned, but it might do that as well. Here we go, guys. There we go. So we're up to once a week now. And um, one of the things that we're going to be doing in the near future is we're going to have some physical debit cards through payment with the 10K cards branded logo on them. So why is this going to be healthy for, for you guys? We're going to put a QR code to your 10K card onto that card if it's allowed. Because, you know, you have to go through all these different stipulations and bullshit. So once it's allowed, we can put a QR code to your 10K card onto that um, debit card. Debit card. So whenever you're out and about and you pay a bill, someone can actually scan your QR code and actually get your business card. And if they want to do business with you, if they want to sign up with you, see, even while you're dining, eating, partying, shopping, you can be grabbing customers at the same damn time. Okay? How cool is that going to be? Okay, I'm gonna start spreading the word that I'm about to get an NFT card, a customized NFT card. That's that's gonna be the rumor on the street for me because I wanted one when, when it first came out. I told my son I'm gonna get one. He's like, Mom, what do you? I almost have me one, and now you just gave it to me. You and King J Lo, thank you. That's okay, it. Right. I'm lost. What is the NFT card? Please explain. It's the hottest thing on the market. Well, you can basically scan a code. You know, even if it's, it's it can be attached to your phone, it can be attached to your card. And it's basically just like a 10K card. It really is, literally. It's like a 10K card, but I'm not going to go too deep with it. But Queen, it's, it's just another way for us to leverage our brand. Oh, I love it. Oh, there okay. we go. Now, Ketchy, welcome to the transparent room. You have a question, Queen? Ask any question because anything that you're not clear on, someone else's room is not clear on it. What's the question, Ketchy? Oh, Ketchy, you kind of went back on mute. Hello? Yep, we can hear you. What's the, what's the exact question, Queen? I'm just very confused on the process. So do I just get the card and then I start the room and then I get, I start? All right. So when you get the card, when you get the card from us and uh, when you get the premium card from us, um, Ketchy, that means you're now making money with us. That means you're now an affiliate member with us. So when you open up a room, we're going to set up a special room sponsored link for you. That special room sponsored link, all the payments will be passing through the payment platform. So when you open up a room, Ketchy, and you're promoting your message in the room, and someone decides to make a purchase of your 10K card, they're going to click on your your specialized link that we're going to give to you. And when they make a purchase on that card, you're going to be paid. And in fact, look, I'm just going to let the cat out of the bag right now. When you're opening up a room here on Clubhouse and you're representing 10K cards, we're going to give you 30% of the commission. So whatever someone buy from the 10K card shop, you're going to get 30%. So if someone buy the regular card from your store, um, Ketchy, you're going to get $30. If they buy the premium card from our stores, you're going to get $90. Uh, $90. And since 10 is so close to 90 I'm just going to give you 100 bucks. How does that sound? Okay, so we're not... So this is not for like anyone who has a brand. It's only to promote the 10K cards only. Right? Oh, not at all, Green, not at all. So when we're going to put together a card that says meet the sponsors, we're going to put together a card that says meet the sponsors. So every affiliate link that you have, every company that you're affiliated with, you can put them on that Meet the Sponsors card. So for example, are you are you affiliated with any other any other brands? Oh, there is my brand. Very good. So on your brand, what products what products do you sell? Skincare. Skincare. All right. Do you have your skincare shop set up? Online, yes. Right. Is that on your card as yet? Oh, I didn't get the card, 10K card just yet. I just wanted to inquire about it. Oh, I got you no problem. So once you get your card, Queen, we're going to put your shop onto your card. So whenever you're hosting a room, all you have to do is to tell your audience. If you want to get something from my store, just click on the card and then you'll be able to pick anything from um, the store and you can actually make a purchase to support you. So, so 
So, King Don, if I'm understanding this right, right, I will be able to open a room. Let's say I want to talk to people about how to protect their income, how to eliminate debt. And Don, I got to talk to you because I need to understand more about what you do. How yeah, to how to create, um, generate tax-free income for life. Um, how to create a legacy um, generationally. So I'm talking about that in my room. But my the, the room is going to say it's sponsored by 10K Cards and it's sponsored by, by BAMP.ECO. And you're payment. on the money. You're on the money so And far. payments, because those are the three that I got right now. There and we go. And so the audience, I don't know if I will have to tell them that this room is sponsored by such and such and such and such and such and such. And like every time I reset the room and then send them to my 10kcard.com where they'll be able to find my bam.eco link, my payment link, and definitely they need to get a 10k card in the first place. And, <laughs> and, and then all that money when they do it goes to Carmen10k.com. Thank you Because it's going to be linked to JLo because I'm going to have the pay me link and he's going to send me my money by the 10th. You gonna send me my money on the twenty sixth? No, if it's, the, if it's the club, you can send me the same day. So if I'm hungry, I come and open a room and I get my lunch. There we here. go. And, <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it, Carmen. I'm loving it. <laughs> it's one thing that I typically do. I listen, yeah, and I'm always able to make sure to say it a different way so everybody can understand. Because you might not even understand. It's just really for me to understand. I'm just trying to help me. And if it helps anybody else, that's great. By the way, it's Carmen, 10 k Go look on their schedule with me on how you can protect your income, eliminate debt, and create a legacy. And I'm Carmen, 10 kcom and I'm done speaking. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Yo, I think I'm going to start introducing this bam at the end of my, um, of my intro. Just to spike the awareness of how people say, what is this goddamn band? Oh, well, now that you ask. <laughs> yeah. And, and King, King Jello, can you bring up my colleague, Saran? I mean, I think I could bring her up. You have a green, you have a green yes, thing, guys. Yes, yes. I forgot now, we got my power. And, and by the way, guys, just so you guys know, anytime you see someone here on the stage with a green beam, it means that they have at minimum a premium membership with a 10K card. And the reason for that, we don't want to have anyone on stage that is not making money with us. And when they're asked, what's your experience like, they're stumbling over themselves. So if you see anyone here with a green beam, guys, it simply means they're in a position to answer any question regarding at minimum 10K cards. And then now you're going to have BAM, you're going to have the pill method, you're going to have payment. So when you see someone on stage, you can ask them any question. And I'm confident they can deliver honest answers. And the reason I'm so very focused on honest answers, there's a lot of taking place in this fucking app, and it's not going to be happening in my goddamn community. So when you see me in a room, or you see me amongst anyone with a with a green beam, um, and it's on the 10K card or one of his associates um, umbrella, it's a different conversation altogether. Now, is it today? Yeah. Today, I got a message yesterday that you wanted to get one of the, um, the premium cards. Is that correct, Queen? Oh, was um, Bernard trying to gas me up? Which one? Wait, is the name of the bill You didn't ask. Oh, shit, she's not here. Okay, so let me text her the card. Um, okay, so with that said, we just got a few new members on stage, guys. Um, Tanya, welcome to the building. How are you, Quinn? Good morning, 10K. I am doing well. <laughs> I sent you a couple of... Uh, I sent you a couple of um, love notes last night about my 10K card. I... I I jacked it up. It's all me. So I need nah. to fix some stuff. So if you could respond to me when you have a minute. Text me, I... text me right now. Let me see the concierge link. Did I send you the concierge link already? I don't remember. Okay. Shoot me a text message right now. I'll send the link. And we have a team stand, standing by to assist with all changes. And they're some, of the most, they're some of the most patient people in the world, okay? Just for you to know. And I have, I have a, a, a wonderful new idea for you. I don't know if it's new for you, but it's new for me. So That's while it. I was while I was contemplating my beautiful new 10K card, I decided that I, I need to have 
the little QR C code so that I can put it on my product labels. Very good. People, so people, so I don't have to write any little itty bitty font on my on my products. Love it. All my web links and stuff. If I can just pop that little QR C on there, I don't have to worry uh, about it. Here's another question: Where are you currently printing your QR code? I haven't. I haven't. I haven't even gotten there yet. <laughs> so you want to hear the good news? You want to hear the good news now? Yes, I there do. There is a guy on stage by the name of Greg that is actually building a platform with different menu items of which your labels will be included. So anyone that want to have their QR code printed or different decals with the QR code on it, Greg will be the guy to come to. So he's working. Obviously, he can already service you with that. But we're building something for the community. So you'll be able to go on to the, the, one of the website. Well, I'm not sure which name we're going to call that one. You can just go on and be able to order anything that you want. We want to create that superstore experience for you. So as you think it, we'll be able to print it. Fantastic. Thank you. You are welcome, Queen. Now let's welcome my big sister onto the app, Ms. Patrice Bobo Miles. How are you? What's up, Sean? How are you this Absolutely morning? Absolutely amazing, Queen. Talk to you. What I have to say, I mean, I get on here pretty much every morning that I come in a room and I talk about how wonderful my 10K card is, how easy it is for me to share my information, how wonderful you and your staff are and just um, personalizing the card to exactly what I need it to be. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm thrilled. Okay. I'm, th I'm thrilled. We need, to, we need to make sure you're positioned on Clubhouse, um, Patrice, to get paid. Using your 10K card. Okay. So, in addition to your course, in addition to the course that's coming out, is it ready? Is the course ready as yet? No, no, no. I, I'm, 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 I am um, finished. I'm hoping to have it finished up this weekend. I want it to All be right. able to launch by the 1st of September. How about if you do a, um, okay. How about if you do a, you start building a VIP list? How about right. if you start building an invitation list only? And then you're going to host a nice party to, to launch your um, your course. What do you think of that conversation? I like that conversation. We need to have that. Okay. So I'm going to give you a call offline today. And okay. then what's going to happen is uh, we're going to build um, a data capturing link that you can start registering for your VIP list. And all the mm -hmm. members of the VIP list will be invited to that party. That's okay. number one. Okay. Number two... What payment or how do you plan to get paid on the um on the course? When you're ready to pay for the course, how do you plan to accept payment? Uh, you know what? I really want to set up a slight business account. I have a, a PayPal and a, and a Cash App, but neither of those don't want to use. So I need to, I want to finish setting up my my um swipe account. All right. So I'm going to send you my link to payment. Payment is the gentleman right next to Don and Tanya. Mm -hmm. And uh, we use him exclusively for um, his payment processing system. That's the founder and the CEO, number one. Number two, he's a friend of mine. And uh, everyone that I can put onto his platform, I can definitely do so. So here's the good news. Whenever you're promoting your course, you can literally have your client read through your course and then submit their payment at the bottom of the, um, the, the page. Okay. Okay? And then when they finish submitting their payment, then you can send them a link to the course or what, what, what have you. So I'm going to okay. send you, and the payment, I want to think of PayPal. So payment is PayPal on steroids. That's a way to think about it. Okay. Okay? So I'm going to okay. send my payment so you can register, you can register Queen. Okay. In addition to that, how else do you think you can advise anyone here on the app as to how to start monetizing your time on Clubhouse? Well, I would imagine some of it's going to have to do with, um, um, you know, mentioning that my room is sponsored by 10K, huh? Right. And <laughs> when, when, you do, when you do that, what's going to happen? Everyone that actually, and I'm just going to be frank with you um, as well, on stage of truth. When you, you do? start doing that, yeah, when you start doing that, my dear, everyone that buys the basic card, you're going to get 30 bucks on the basic card. And everyone that buys the premium card, you're going to get 100 bucks. Okay. Okay. So we're going to build out two special links for you, for everyone that's actually doing a room sponsored. And then you're just going to put the, your um, your patrice10k.com in the title of the room as well. So okay. when people see that, they can be like, okay. So there are dual ways to get in touch with you also. That's my exposure again with 10K cards. So that will justify me putting an extra 10% there. Okay. Okay.
All right. Okay. Now let's move on to. Before I move on to you, there, Greg. Uh, let me just touch base with Reggie really quick. Reggie, you in the building? Yeah, but it might be a little noisy where I'm at right now, and I don't have my headphones in. Man, yeah, when quality work. people, when quality people into the room, you block out the goddamn noise, Rich. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. How did you miss me up here? I've been. I'm, I'm, I'm saving like, I the best. Go. I'm okay. saving the best. I'm saving the best for last. You know, you do what you're trying oh, to say. Oh, you made up my heart. Okay, I'm gonna come back and flood you in the next introduction. Don't worry, I got you. The reason I wanted to touch base with Reggie really quick. Me and Reggie met in a room that uh, was a pretty cool room. You know, nice, great conversations and so on. So I just want to officially welcome him to, uh, welcome him to the room and to see. Who, uh, let him give a quick, brief intro. Then I'm gonna dive into you, um, Tiffany, because there's extensive questions I want to ask you next. Okay, Quinn. There you go. That's your little chill pill for now. You can sprinkle some some dust now. <laughs> there we go. So, Reggie, introduce yourself to the audience really quick, dear brother. Yeah, real quick. So, my name is Reggie Williams, uh, a professional baseball player for Minnesota Twins, five seasons. Uh, was in the car industry for eight years, ran a, a dealership for eight, and uh, in the during the pandemic, or at the beginning of the pandemic, actually, my brother-in-law and I, we started up a mask company, and uh, that mask company, we were able to get masks to NFL, NBA, and, and uh, uh, MLB players. Um, we've uh, ran a success, uh, successful online business, so there was all, you know, B2C. Now we are opening up a boutique uh, in Jacksonville, Florida, which will be selling clothes, uh, shoes, and sports cards. So a lot of hype products for uh, Gen Zers. They, they love that stuff, so. Um, currently we are, uh, doing that and, um, and transitioning into our clothing brand. So that's just a little bit about me and, uh, I appreciate you letting me in the room and, uh, we, we connected the other day and you seem like a, like a cool, cool dude, man. So, so I, I, I like to be around like-minded people and, uh, people with high energy and appreciate you letting me up on stage and, uh, just wanted to learn more about these ten A cards. I saw it on your profile the other day, and I didn't really ask while we were in the other room. So now I'm I'm, I'm in here to, to learn about ten K. You got it, brother. So what I'm doing, I'm having the team right now build out one for you. So in less than an hour, I'm going to send it over to you. And then once you look at it and it fits what you're doing and you see the value within it, then we can either decide on going with either the basic version or the premium version. All right. So no sweat, no pressure, no headache. You're going to love it once you get it. Now let's do a quick let's do a quick intro to Moji before I go to my girl Tiffany because I'm about to get to you, Tiffany right now. I'm trying to come at the sideways. Moji, welcome to Tiffany. <laughs> How are you? I am good. I'm so glad you started to do this rooms because you know I just can't stop talking about the 10k cards with people. Okay. It's not the same as Linktree, it's not the same as anything that's out there. My name is Moji Solo Wilson. I'm a, I'm a licensed New York State real estate broker, and I'm also the co-founder of Solar Wilson Village, a taste of Africa in the heart of Texas. My wife and I own 40 acres in Ledbetter, Texas, and we're built in an African village in here. But let me tell you about 10K cards. So I've been hearing for weeks about 10K cards, and one day I decided to go into a room, and I front smack into Sean, Mr. 10K himself, so full of energy, so excited about it. I'm like, eh, I don't know. But then I'm talking to a friend in the UK, and she's like, have you heard about the 10K cards? I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm not playing. I'm like, are you kidding me? She's all the way in London. She's Nigerian. She's talking about the 10K cards. I'm like, wait, my people know they carry last. So I, I, I DM'd him and said, I want one. He, with less than an hour, boom, I got one. My wife is an executive pilot, uh, um, heads the medical div division of a insurance company. I got one made for her to fit her life, as in her business, type of business. Cool. Then I got another executive someplace else to look at this, and they're all talking among themselves how exciting this is. But let me tell you what happened to me. So I'm talking to a couple of friends um, one evening when we happened to be out and I sent them the 10 cards. And if I gave somebody my real estate card, they would only know about my real estate business. If I gave somebody the Solar Wilson Village card, they would only know about Solar Wilson. But this card had everything that I drew on there. I also own an accessories company. That same day, I had five people book 
a stay at a short-term rental and I sold four bags. And we're not talking, I'm talking high-end bags, 160 something dollars each for each bag. That same day, because they had it right in front of them, they didn't have to go searching. And there's a little bio about me. So it's not even about the money for me. I mean, of course, the money is always good that you make a couple of extra bucks doing nothing, but just sharing your cards. For me, I just think if you own a business and you don't have a 10K card, you're literally shooting yourself off at the, sh at the foot. My name is Lopoji Solo Wilson, and I ask all of you to dive into the 10K cards because it's, it's helping my business grow without doing anything, without advertising. I'm not paying anybody to do anything. I just give out the cards. And it's so easy when you're at an event, if you have an iPhone, you can literally, and I'm not a techie, you can literally give it to everybody in the room that has access to, that you have access to their numbers. This thing is priceless. But Mr. 10K, thank you for sharing this with all of us because you could have taken it to the big shots and sold the program to somebody else, but you decided to bring it to laymen and women like us. So, shuku to you like they say in my village. Thank you. I'm done speaking. I totally, totally appreciate that. And guys, I want you guys to hear me this one very carefully. You know, I was um, I was faced with a very big um, proposition to partner up and take 10K cards global immediately. And uh, I said, uh, I said very simply, this is not going to happen. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the time within the community and we're going to build each and every one organically. This is not going to be a place where we can try to rush for the dollar and then forget the little people. That's number one. Number two, as advanced and as fancy and as sexy as we become, we're always going to make room for the entry for our people to join. Because too often, cool, innovative products step into the marketplace and we're etched out of it because of pricing. So on my watch, that's never going to happen. And also, I'm always going to make myself available like this, not only to the public, but to help others grow within their business. One of the things that I love what you said there, Moji, was you made money in your business by using the 10K card. That's what excites me. That's the primary function of it. Okay? Now, I'm going to strangle Kimi for coming up so late, so I'm going to go to Tiffany first. Kim, love you. I'll come right back to your green. Tiffany, are you in the building? <laughs> I was gone for a minute. I got lost in the blockchain. I went through the NFT rabbit hole, uh -huh. and, then, and then I got lost in Web 2.0 versus 3.0 because 3.0 is what's hot and what's coming, and it's what's built. It's what the blockchain is actually built on. And so, you know, uh, I was over here trying to figure out how we could get 10K cards, dot, uh, crypto or dot NFT. And then I realized, oh, we haven't advanced that far just yet. <laughs> so just for you to, just to answer that question, um, it is very simple. The, um, in two years, I own another brand. It's called onebusinesscard.com. It's called onebusinesscard.com. We can launch that product now. But because the marketplace is not ready for the crypto, the NFT, and all that kind of stuff, the marketplace is not ready for that product. So I'm giving it easily two years. And when that product comes to the marketplace, they may call it overnight success. But the product is ready to be launched now. However, the marketplace is not ready. Because when we do launch that product, it's going to bring the attention of the Googles and the Amazons of the world to what we're doing. And I want to make sure that we have enough protection in the marketplace that can handle the attention that will be coming. So I just want to basically mention that so that you guys know there's some pretty cool shit coming. I'm not at all concerned with what's taking place in the marketplace. We have a product that's going to position us where we can all be able to benefit from. Just think of one card that you can incorporate your bank cards, your driver's license, um, your curriculum vitae, your medical records. Everything can all be in one place. And it's all protected by the blockchain technology. So you don't have to worry about security and all that kind of good stuff. And we already have the perfect name for it. It's called OneBusinessCard.com because we're going to be focusing that product around businesses as well. So we're going to use all the right ingredients to make sure that is the popping card out there, guys. So when you see me show up here every day, what's that? <laughs> Knowledge is power, and I love it. Applied knowledge, applied knowledge. Ah, that's what we're yes. gonna say. Applied knowledge. I'll let the man finish. Yep. Let the man finish. He's dropping gems right now, y'all. We're going to change. And I heard to change. That's what I heard to change. And, and the reason, the reason I mentioned two years, guys, I would never stand before my audience like this 
and speak on anything I'm not a thousand percent competent in. I would never bring something before our people and say, oh, I think of this, I think. No, 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 there's no need to think. We tried, we test, we prove, it works, this is yours. Let's go. That's the only way I believe in living because when you have the trust of people, you want to make sure you protect that trust by securing every future investment from all angles to make sure it makes sense. Because there are members on stage here that will just buy a product because Sean said, hey, this is a good product, let's buy that product. So when you have that kind of influence in the marketplace, you want to protect it by being very cautious of the relationships you get into. And that's one of the reasons I do publicly align myself with them and with uh, King Jello, because I believe in what they're doing. And also Don, where's Don? He disappeared. And also Don, because I genuinely believe in what they're doing. And I will not publicly align myself with anyone that I can't vouch for. And I'm on, by the way, anyone that's around me is always on audition, just for you guys to know. Likewise, I'm always on audition in your eyes as well. See, if you think any day I'm going to drop the ball, hoping that our previous relationship is going to save me, you have another thing coming. You don't know me quite well. Every day I'm going to audition to keep your vote, guys. Because at the end of the day, if we're not continuously keep doing this, someone is going to come and edge us out. And in my community, there's no edging out. Okay, so let's go to you, Miss YCEO, for a second. I see our girl Brittany. Brittany started following you yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yes, it absolutely was, after I made a few comments, and I didn't realize it until you told me, because I actually had to leave for another meeting, so good looking oh, out, I love it. Okay, now, when you started going on stage and making a few comments, how was your confidence level um, changing for you on Clubhouse, and how is your numbers changing? Oh, wow, that's a loaded question. So, hi, everybody. Uh, first of all, this is how it's changed. I'm Tiffany, the YCEO. I teach you how to build trust and credibility. I'm a business coach of high-performing entrepreneurs, and I help train others to get on the leading edge and the cutting edge of technology and in their business world and how to leverage their passions to help others who are also on the same journey. I'm from Cincinnati, the home of Neil Armstrong, the astronaut, and the Queen Academy Award winning Golden Globe mogul herself, Miss Regina King. My mission is to spread wisdom, because wisdom is the principal thing, and above all, get an understanding, because soon you will prosper and apply knowledge is power. I just added that in after you just coached me uh, just a few seconds ago. Applied knowledge is power. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, you know, coming into this room, you know, my past history, I've always spoken on stage. I've always done presentations before audiences. Um, but that was when I was on someone else's time clock, on someone else's dime. I was paid to do that as part of my career. But when it came to leveraging my own brand, I had to find my own voice and passion and be brave enough to step into who I am as an individual and, and as a person that's called by a higher power to do so. So coming into this space, I found my voice. I found my um, the direction that I was headed and getting the 10K card, and I'm not just saying this as some kind of a feel or just because I've been trained to do so, I have not, but it allowed me to chart out the pathway of where I'm headed. Because for me, when I know where I'm going then, and, I, and I have a pathway to get there, then it's easier for me to navigate. So that's what has changed for me. And I've only been a part of this 10K Cart family less than a month. And I can tell you, um, iron sharpens iron. And I have been sharpened and I continue to be sharpened. And I don't mind it because I know where I'm going and I know who I am. And I have got to show up and show up powerful and strong in the circles that I have been called to. I've been everywhere from the White House all the way down to the outhouse when I have to go get somebody and pull them out of wherever they're at and whatever mess they've gotten themselves into financially or personally. So I can tell you that uh, we all are in this together, and I'm here to receive, and I'm also here to pour out um, for those who need me to. And, and I'm here. I'm your sister. I'm here for you no matter what. And I keep it real. I, I don't know how to do it any, any other way. So thank you so much, Mr. Kinkai. Love it, love it, love it. Um, also, one of the most important things, guys, whenever you hear people are complaining about unequal, you know, I mean, white privilege and who is privileged and who have more wealth than who, guys, it will all come down to how hard you're willing to work and how well you're strategically positioning yourself. 
that's why anytime you see me hosting a room, I'm trying to figure out, okay, how can we make some money together? Because if we want to eradicate half of the nonsense that's taking place um, in the marketplace, we have to position ourselves to be in the path of the money, the flow of the money, because that's what's going to solve the problems. When I see some of these ridiculous rooms taking place, guys, um, I would be in those rooms for the networking of the room. I'll be in those rooms for the politics. Because if you see me in certain rooms that has nothing to do with growth and prosperity, I'm politicking with individuals in the room. And most of the time we're making connection, we both have the same assumption. The only reason I'm here was to meet you. So when you connect with the clients in the DM, if the title doesn't make any damn sense, I got to text her, so I'm like, Ursula, what the heck are you doing in this room? She hit me with a, well, I got bored and blah, blah, blah. I said, Ursula, the only reason I'm in this room is to meet you. Because here's what I read in your bio. This is what I like. And here's how I think we can actually collaborate. And that's how you start conversations. So don't always get lost in the room, guys. And also, drama brings attention. Attention used correctly will make you money. i say it again. Drama brings attention. Attention used correctly will make you money. So whenever you see these controversial rooms or so on, if you know you can come back from it politically, <laughs> dive into the room. <laughs> if you think you can come back from it politically, dive into the damn room, grab some jewels, and come back out of it. Okay? <laughs> um, Moji, give me some examples of some of these controversial rooms that you be in. Oh, my God. I say them rooms. <laughs> but I, I go into rooms like that are very controversial because I need to learn human nature. I believe I'm very naive. I believe every, I used to believe everything people say, and I realize that most a lot of people bloviate. You know, they they just they stretch things a lot. But I learned that from sitting in rooms like the. I used to go into Ados. I no longer do that. Because right. it's not a me. I, I, I sit at the intersection of four marginalized groups. I'm a lesbian, I'm a woman, I'm an immigrant, and I'm also half Muslim. So the ADOS thing doesn't work. The LGBTQ conversations, unless I know the people in the rooms, I'm not going in. Um, politics, Nigerian politics, hell to the no. Uh, but sometimes I go in there and I sit there in the audience and they pull me up. But I now know that if I listen to spirit, there's a purpose for me being in there. There's been a lot of people that I have met that if I had not gone into what I deem the crazy rooms, I would never have met. And then, you know, you take somebody like 10K, you'll think he's all business and stuff. Sometimes I'm in the room and the daggers are flying and he'll just step up and say something and shut down the whole madness. It's just, it's beautiful when you have a purpose and when you listen to spirit. Sometimes I do it for entertainment in the past. I no longer do that because I walk out of the room and I'm drained emotionally and mentally. So everything I do now is very strategic. I lend my voice to people that I believe in. I repeat, I lend my social currency or gift my social currency to people that I believe in what they're doing. I no longer just pop into rooms. I pop into rooms knowing fully well people will follow me in there, all two of them, because I don't have a lot of followers. But bottom line is, everything has to have a purpose. Even my ratchet rooms have a purpose. I hope that you know, answers the it's question. So funny, it's so funny you mentioned the ratchet rooms because there's some ratchet rooms here that I follow one of my friends in arm. His name is Dante, Dante Brooks. I normally, whenever I see him in a room, I would normally go chill in the room for a little bit because sometimes you'll be amazed to hear some of the um, ignorant conversations that's taken place. And then when you're strong enough to actually go through the ignorance, when it shows up in your life, you're like, oh, I know what that is. I saw that. I've experienced that. And also, it gives me a chance to see some of the ignorance within our culture. And it also equipped me to position myself, create a product to help solve that ignorant problem. So being in these challenging places will actually open up opportunities for you as well, once you're um, strong enough. Hi, right, Tony, you want to say something? I, all right. I'm sorry. What, what I wanted to say, everything that is emoji just said was absolutely beautiful. Put yourself in places where you're going to learn and grow because you reflect your your environment. You reflect your the people that are around you. So if you want to be better, you need to be in groups that are better, and that helps bring you up. 
There you go. And, and I remember, I remember one room, I had to remind Mochi, walk with your fucking chest up. Don't be trying to sneak around here with all that confidence that you carry. Do you remember that day, Mochi? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> trying to act up. Uh, people that pour into each and every one of us, we must, because sometimes we lose our footing when we're in a group and we're being attacked. And even though you're making sense and what you're saying is true and people are not ready for it, there's always one or two people that it will resonate with. So what I've learned is that there's a purpose for everything we do and say, because sometimes the universe is sending us to one person out of a thousand. And because of the world that we live in these days, we believe that if we're not in a room with 5,000 people that will clap for us, it's not the right space for us. Not realizing that we are just a messenger of the day to share our light with others. And that's what you did for me that day. And I spoke up, and that day I got about 10 DMs, or whatever they call it on this platform, uh, right. from people that said, oh my God, that was for me. So yeah, that's why I'm in your room today too, because I know there's going to be somebody in here that will pour into me. Thank you. There, there we go. And uh, you know, the reason they'll keep pouring into you, uh, Mochi, is because you're always constantly pouring into each other. Just feel them. Because whenever you speak with that confidence that you carry, you're shining light on others and giving others a much fairer pathway to walk on. And that's what life is all about. If your life is not becoming, is not helping someone else, then the question is, what the heck are you living for? What are you doing? That's the real question. Hi, this is Ursula. Um, you all are talking about the space that I'm walking in in the last couple of days, and I mentioned some of it. But um, being in one of those rooms, it helped me get off the fence and figure out exactly how I felt about something. Prior to the conversation, I didn't even think I didn't even believe that I cared about it. But hearing the comments of certain people, I, I I just had to say something. And that was in Clubhouse. Outside of Clubhouse, I was involved in a task force meeting and something came up. And I attempted to address it at the moment in a, in a quiet and unintrusive way, but that opportunity passed. So <laughs> I, I sat on it chewed on it and then I couldn't stand it anymore and I got up and I wrote this long email and it it was one of those emails where I said to myself well if I have to walk away from this group because I pissed somebody off it's just gonna have to be that way it absolutely was the opposite response um, <laughs> people basically said that I said what needed to be said and that direct and clear was the best way to do it. And they said they were going to make a change, and that came from the very top. Um, and one person that had not, that was not at the meeting, but saw the email, gave me the best gift of all. She said, when I saw this, I just said, I just love her. And it was, hey, I was done. So I had come out of the shadows and spoke my piece, and spoke it loud and clear because it went all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom, 50-some people, <laughs> and got a great response. So sometimes you just you just have to do that. I'm Ursula, and I'm done. Love it, love it, love it. And at the end of the day, I um I want you guys to remember the more you live your truth is the more you're gonna be inspiring others, which I do believe God put us here to do. So the experiences that we're going through is not only for us, but in my honest opinion, is to benefit others. That's what I really believe. Because if God didn't think you were strong enough, he wouldn't put it on you. So if he put it on you, you better carry that goddamn experience that he put on you. Okay, and stop bitching and whining and complaining about it. And it's called sell it in a course or in a book. That's it. Someone else will benefit from it. And guess what? You'll get paid. With that said, let's welcome my beautiful Kim to the stage. Kim, I have not seen you in such a long time. Kim, with a beautiful smile. How are you? Uh, good morning. Good morning. And good morning. Yeah, so I, I talked to a lot of what your conversation is. I, besides the fact that I'm out here in the real world doing what we say we do on Clubhouse, um, 
kind of had to step away a little bit because some of the, the conversations and rooms are getting really intense and I am really 100% about protecting my peace. And so <laughs> had to just take a little time to, you know, a little less time on and a little bit more time out here in the world. But good morning to everybody. Um, you know, it's funny this morning, you mentioned a couple of things that really resonates with me. Um, the first one being, you were saying that you audition every day for everyone. And I, and that, I that was just funny to me because that's honestly, um, not just because I'm here in Southern California, um, but I am a luxury realtor here in Southern California. And my partner and I always say that we're always auditioning for our next client. <laughs> we're always, um, no matter what we're doing, even with our friends, like, we don't have the luxury to maybe say, um, you know, something negative uh, because we're reaching somebody. We, we have the potential to help so many people in so many different ways. And us falling off into the negative side of something can affect them in that way. So we really are always trying to make sure that we're um, imparting positivity, knowledge, and, um, and our expertise into every place and everyone that we, we encounter so that they can know that they can count on us when they need us in their time of any kind of real estate need, whatever that may be. Um, and because of the market that I am and the kind of real estate that I do, it just really encompasses so many um, different facets of real estate that people may not even be aware of. Um, so it's funny that you say that because it, it's true. And if you remember that every day, you always go out trying to be the best version of who you are, no matter what. And I, I just find that to be, when I heard you say that, it really, really resonated with me. Like, yes, yeah, someone gets it. And it's true. We can't go out here just being any old version of who we are. We have to always be the best version of who we are. So that was really great. And then so much more that you guys were talking about. Um, just, it's a really great conversation. And thank you for inviting me on stage. I miss you. Aww. And if it wasn't so dark, skinny would have been seen my red cheeks right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I get it in this a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, well, what we were speaking on is uh, I would basically become a paid moderator on Clubhouse. And so often, you know, I see people running in from room to room. And, oh, one time, brother, one second, one time, brother, one, one second. One time, brother. In fact, let me try to drag Reggie back into the room. Reggie's trying to pay us um, every month with that amount. No, Reggie, that's a one-time payment. Let me drag his ass into the room really quick, guys. That's what tough guys do to each other. Um, boom, boom. All right, I think he's that. Okay, so one of, one, of the, one of the things is whenever we're going from room to room, guys, I'm just in one of those blessed positions where anyone you guys can come to me in any room. Oh, give me one second, Reggie. <laughs> Reggie, I had to pull you back into the room. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanted to share with the audience what was your response when you saw the card, Reggie? Man, I, I'm, I'm I'm at a birthday party right now, but I had to I had to literally just go into the bathroom real quick just to just to tell you guys, man, it was so fast for one how fast they created the card. But the other thing is, man, it's beautiful. It's got everything there in one place. I mean, it's 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 easy. It's a yeah, it's a no brainer. So that's a, yeah. I'm, I'm signing up. I'm signing you up. You got it. You got it, brother. And when you're finished with the um, when you're ready to share the card, you can tap on the button that says "Share My Card," and your yeah. QR code your QR code pops up. So got you're it. Gonna point their camera to that QR code. Your card is gonna pop up in there for. That's step one. Step two, when you go to the premium version. Anyone that sees that card and fall in love with it, whenever they decide to make a purchase, twenty percent of their purchase will come back to you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and it's a one it's a one time payment. <laughs> That's why I brought you to the room. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you working so fast, my brother. You got it, buddy. We're here to help. Anything we can do to assist, let us know. I want you to the payment, send a thumbs up so I can send it to your affiliate link so we can get you registered ASAP and we can start making some money together. Sweet. Let's do it. Okay. All right, buddy. All appreciate right. you, Reggie. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. Okay. Yeah, guys, I was, I was in the back show with Reggie. I had to put Reggie back on stage just to share that this money with him.
When he saw the product, he was wowed by it. And then when he saw the price, he said, wait, this is monthly or one time? So when I said one time, it was like, what the heck? So yeah, I had to bring the seats for that one, guys. Oh, uh, she is. Let me see what goes my set on bam. All right, so where, oh yeah, so being in the rooms, guys, you first comment. Uh, okay, I have a couple of questions. Uh, number one, for it, for it. I registered for my payment link. It was verified my email and everything like that, but I, for some reason, when you go back, I can't sign it, so I don't know what that is. So I don't know if there's a, a quirk or something going on with that. Secondly, right. so secondly, let's, start, let's, start, let's touch on that one first. So step okay. one, when you signed in for payment, let me send you, do you still have my link, right? I did it from your link. Okay, I did it from your link. So click on register for payment again and then try to log in. And okay. then I, you just do the get password and then re enter your password, I guess, if you can't um, get in. And then let me know what's the results of that. That's okay. I'll do that. Okay. All right. And that's this, step one. What's the second yeah, thing? The second question is um, on the 10K card. Remember we did that deal where I have a promotional thing on my card for people who like order more than 12 shirts for me and that kind of stuff. That, that is correct. We have right. to build, we have to build that link on it. It's if on I'm there. Technical. It's already? Okay, there you yeah, go. Yeah, it's on there. My question was anybody could click that link though. No, no. So here's the thing. We have no problem with anyone clicking on that link. The reason I shared that marketing secret to you was to let your clients know when they buy 10 shirts, you're going to sponsor them the 10K card. Okay. Okay. I, I, was just, sponsor, uh, I was just wondering because if I, like I sent my card to, to Serene, who we are, we got that back channel going out right now to get her on there. She okay. can actually click on that link that says, um, oh uh, crap, whatever it said. Uh, but okay, it's, so, it's, so here's the news. Here's uh -huh. the news. You ready for this? Uh huh. Anyone that click on that link, your affiliate link will go onto their card. Okay. So when they have a promo version of the card, your affiliate link will be on their card. Okay, I understand. So I'm just, I'm so I, what? I, what is it? What it is is that I'm just gonna promote that for exactly. my other client. But basically, you add my 10K card, you can actually go, anybody can go to it. But I'm going to promote yes. that as a way to promote exactly. my products, plus let them know they can get something for free. Or exactly. Whatever. Okay, exactly. great, great. I got and that. Then if, and then if they're impressed by your card, they can try the promo version or they can simply order their own. Right, right. I got it. The other thing about why we're making money in these clubhouse streets do we have to open our room from the 10K card room or can we open our not. own room anywhere? Because I have Absolutely. a club that I'm trying to Very build good. as well. So everyone in this room, I want to recommend everyone open up your own club because every club started somewhere. Every club started somewhere. Guess what it started with? Zero followers. So everyone in this room, I want you all to register for your own club and then start opening up your own rooms in your club. Awesome. And, one of the things, and then one of the things that you're going to do is, once you're finished registering your club, I'm going to put your club onto your, um, onto your meet the sponsors card. And the reason for that is, whenever you're in other rooms, you can get other people to start following your club from other big rooms. Okay. How do you respond Thank to that you for that question. I had the same question um, because when I tried to sign up for payments, I, I clicked your link and I still had to go to their website to set up my account. So I, I wasn't sure why it did it that way. So no, I'm, when, I'm you glad click, that you when you clicked on my link, Queen, it would have taken you to the website, but through my affiliate link. Okay. Okay. That's why it rerouted me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's what I... That's what uh -huh. I did, and I and I and I, that wasn't strange to me at all. I just know it, that was just the way for it to link me back to you. My That's problem right. is it worked fine, and it said um, it even sent me something that says confirm your email. I confirm my email, then it says log in, and now I can't log in. So I even told it to you know send me a forget password. And right. um, that's where we were when I asked you the question. So I'm gonna go do what you said, and then I'll I'll, right. I'll report back. But it 
it's really awesome to know that we can. I, I actually was getting frustrated with Clubhouse, to be honest, and I'm getting excited, excited again <laughs> now because I, I, I ran away from Clubhouse for months. Like I was like, this is a waste of my time. I'm not coming back on here doing crap, and I just happened to log on on Sunday. But I'm really getting excited again because I have a club, and I it probably got like 200 something members, and now I can come back and start sharing, and then be able to grow with and oh my god I'm, I'm excited again so thanks for that King. all right sure. I'll, I'll come back with questions as i work in the back of what i'm doing here not a problem another thing as well anytime so here's a strategy in growing your club and getting your club um, to go bigger and i want everyone to listen to you on this one very carefully support someone else's club support other people's club when you give support in other people's club, one day I may open up our room on the Carmen's club. I may open up our room on the Y CEO club. I may open up our room on the Ursula's club. Because remember, we are all about how can we keep adding value to each other. And these are ways to keep adding value to each other. Very important, but everyone should open up a club. Everyone should start your empire. And let everyone come together and start contributing towards an um, empire. Thanks, King. By the way, guys, my club is called How Money the How Money Works Club. So find it on there and that's a good name. Give me a follow. Thank you so much. Love it, love it, love it. Um, Sean, I I'd like to give an update. You saw where my phone came on. Well, I was getting a phone call from the district to tell me what changes were going to be made based on my email and based on a couple of things she said about some personal things that she was doing i said you know the email that i sent out look before my name there's my digital uh <laughs> business card you might want to click on that for what you're doing outside of the district <laughs> <laughs> there you go <laughs> there you go <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, oh, from the clubhouse to the education house. We reach out into these streets. I just love it. I love that you're reaching so far beyond the digital card. I love it. And what I'm loving, look how Ursula just used it as part of our conversation. That's the secret right there. I'll give you guys a joke. We used to sell the product for 100 And then... What I would find is that people will sign up for the card and the first thing they'll be asking is about a commission, a commission, a commission. I was so fucking bombarded by the commission, commission, commission. I'm like, wait a minute. You're not even taking time to understand the product, how the product works, how the product can serve you. But the only thing that you're focused on is the, is the commission, the commission, the commission. And then I said, oh, you know what? We're going to separate the conversation out. So the first step is for others to understand the product, how it works, and how it can benefit them and their business, and then how they can now go on to help others. And then once we achieve that, then we bring in the affiliate side of things. And then the moment we set up that structure, guys, everything went out the window. Boom, skyrocketed. And I absolutely, absolutely love what's happening there. Now, let's get back into some quick intro, guys. Let's get back to Lisa and then we we'll want to Kim and then the brand in Arctic. Lisa, how are you? Welcome to the stage. Hello, I'm doing wonderful this morning and I just want to say I am so grateful that you invited me to the stage. I'm fairly new to Clubhouse, so I appreciate this platform. I appreciate this opportunity to learn and I also appreciate the opportunity to give uh, anytime that I can. Um, being fairly new to Clubhouse, I've been popping in and out of various different Clubhouse meetings to see what resonated with me. And I'm going to tell you something. 10K Cards stands out so much. So when I saw this this morning, I definitely wanted to join. I'm like, I, I really need to learn more about um, this individual and this business. And I would love to tell you more about myself as well. Being fairly new to Clubhouse. Um, I don't know if you guys felt this over the last two years. Um, everything that I wanted to do and everything that I know that I should be doing um, really became urgent to me, right? It felt that um, we don't know what our time looks like on this earth while we're here. And over the last couple of years, I, I've created two businesses. 
services um, by profession. I am a human resources professional. I have recently, and I, I think I've gotten a lot actually accomplished in the last couple of years, uh, launched a work source consulting. Work source consulting is an HR and ops management consulting firm. It helps our organizations. Um, I help organizations to become better, to elevate. Um, if you don't have your own HR department or your own HR executive, I'm there for you. Uh, I know that we need to ensure that we start a lot of businesses, but we want to make sure that we are growing our businesses and elevating and we want to hire other people, right? We want to make sure we're, we're, we're in a position to take care of our communities. So that's one of the businesses that I started. I'm now also certified to do business with the city and county in which I live. I'm seeking that federal certification and of course I take private clients too. So that's one of the things that I do. Uh, another one is that I always uh, wanted to write a children's book. I did so. I am a published children's book author. Um, this is the first one in a series of seven more to come. It's educational and it's about teaching our kids, um, giving them the language and the mindset to have good character, but also to dream about their futures, knowing that they can do anything that they choose to do. Um, and the third thing that I do is real estate. I have been uh, a single family landlord uh, of multiple properties for more than 10 years. And now it's time to level that up too. So I have those three big interests. I have an interest in the community. When I saw the 10K card, I was like, this is just like a phenomenal product. And I definitely want to learn more about it. Um, and I'm just excited about being here. I, everything that I've heard on this stage this morning regarding making sure that you're finding your voice and learning from any situation. Yeah, you can learn from the good situations in life. You can also learn from situations that are bad as relates to not what to do and just knowing that anything that comes before you, you should try to take a lesson from it. Um, and that giving knowledge is like whatever God has given us, we, we have to use our voices and give back. We have to help others. It's something in us that someone else may need. We have to help them in any way to make sure that they reach their highest level and potential while they're here on this earth, too. And uh, I have already um, sent that text message saying that I'm ready because I am ready. I'm ready for the 10K card. I'm ready for the 10K card, not for the commissions, but for the growth and elevation. I'm so excited about this product. I don't even know. Look at the amount of splashes you're getting. Yes. Okay. I just need that in your life. Okay. I just welcome to the family, Queen. Okay. Oh my God. Thank you. I'm so, I'm so excited. I, when I sat there, I was like, oh no, before I get into this 10K card, um, Clubhouse is going to make something, put you something on your profile. I went out immediately <laughs> and just made a quick profile because I'm like, I have to have something there. Um, because, John, what did you say? You're always auditioning. I'm like, I'm going to put it up right now to get that out there. It's not maybe as complete as I want it to be, but it is a really good representation of who I am. Please do follow me if you have a business that you want to grow, if you need to learn how to grow your business, if you need some coaching, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm all, all day, every day, I'm here for that. And just thank you so much for this platform. And my name is Lisa, and I'm complete. Lisa, you sure know how to drop the mic. Yeah. <laughs> now you did you did a great job first of all. That was what a way to welcome yourself to the audience. And also, it's so funny, just as you mentioned that um you text them ready, I responded while you were speaking, I wasn't sure that was you. But guys, take a look at what I did. In my bio, I have the very top and I wanna to challenge everyone to do the same thing. In my bio, I have at the very top text. I'm ready to 934-444-6611 to order your 10K card. And when I did that, what happened? Boom. This young lady said, okay, I'm in. So the point I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make is 
if you're not putting yourself out there where people can actually get involved and connect with you, again, you're leaving money on the table. So don't let that, don't let that happen to you guys. Um, all right, let me see. Boom, boom, boom. So, um, Queen, the card is being worked on already. It's going to be sent to you by text message in less than, I would say, a half hour. Okay? Thank you, and, King. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. And, with and this the, um, queen is state and federal certified. I saw it in her bio. M-W-E-D-B-E-E-D-E-O-C is certified. She is ready to do this on every level. Yes. Thank you, Queen. I'm so ready for us to elevate and just get to a point where we are in our communities, not only, I mean, we're, we're job creators, like we're giving other people opportunities, we're creating jobs for others, and we're, we're thriving. I'm, it's past time for that to happen, so I'm so excited about it. Thank you so much. Here's another thing I want to think about, um, Queen. Your time is non-refundable. You can refund purchases you make. You can do all that kind of fancy stuff with your time. You cannot refund your time. So while you're on Clubhouse and you're moving from room to room, not only are they going to be able to read your bio, but they'll be able to click on your 10K card as well and to further interact with you. That's number one. Number two, to be a paid moderator on Clubhouse, what we promote is A, sign up as an affiliate with different companies and have a place where you put all your affiliate links in one so when you're connecting with the audience, when you're dropping the wisdom, when you're sharing your best practices, when you're sharing your secrets, I'd be like, whoa, I really like that individual. I want to further connect with them. Or how can I support them? Then they can click on the page with all your affiliates, and then they can actually start buying stuff where you're actually getting paid on. Okay? How cool is that? That's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And anyone who's out there, again, I'm literally, when I say new on Clubhouse, follow me. I'm going to follow you back to you. I'm going to see what you or what your interests are so that if I know or think there are any connections or ways in which I can give, I will do so. Thank you so much. Queen Lisa, do you want me to give you a gem right now? Are you ready for it? I'm ready. All right. One of the things you'll never do after today is ask the people to follow you back. One of the things you'll do after today is never ask anyone to um and never ask anyone to follow you again. By doing that, you can end up with more followers. So here's what you want to do. Whenever it's your turn to speak, you want to drop so many nuggets on the clients that they want to fucking follow you. They want to know when some more nuggets are gonna be dropped. Because here's what I say. If Lisa is dropping so much jewels in one area, Lisa will be dropping jewels in other areas. And the thing about it is if you're not dropping jewel, if you're missing out on some jewels that she's dropping, you might be missing a nice big picture. But if they're putting all the little jewels together, one day they're going to look at Lisa's picture and be like, wow, that's a beautiful picture. Because everywhere you go, Lisa, you leave a little bit of you. Is that correct? That is correct. So what you want to do is everywhere you go, just leave a little bit of you. And if anyone is interested in seeing the full picture of what Lisa has to offer, they're going to start following you. And then when you start hosting your own rooms, then the photos are going to automatically start coming. We're going to share with you those strategies. But when we're using the language of follow me, I'll follow you back. That's a low level approach you don't want to, you don't want to mess with. You want to do it in a nice subliminal way because any guy to tell you what to do, your competitive rebellious side is going to kick out. Yes or no? <laughs> I, I hear you, King, and I am receiving this message. Again, I am new to the house, and I am open to receiving I, and learning everything I can, and I appreciate it. I love it, and I respect that. And with that said, I'm going to follow you. Because when someone gets to follow you because it was their decision, it makes them feel better. That the feel is, oh, okay, I'm going to follow her before, because she asked. No, nope. I want to follow you because you're cool. I want to follow you because you're a great person. I want to follow you because it was my decision to say, you know what? I'm going to follow you. Because wherever you go, you're going to start showing up in my hallway. And the people that's running around asking them to follow, 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 they're going to end up following something that they, they don't intend to follow. Or they don't want to have people following them. You see? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, thank you. There we go. I love it, love it, love it. All right, now let's move on to Kim, and then we're going to go to the Brandon Arctic. Kim, are you in the building? Yes, sir, I am. Say good morning to the beautiful people. Let them know who you are and what you do. Hey, good morning. All happy Friday. 
I am Kim Amos. Did you say Friday or Friday? Friday. Friday. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> I'm Kim Amos. I am a family braider. I am located in Atlanta, Georgia. I I say family braider because I cater for the dads, the mom, the kids. I especially do well with kids. And I was I started using 10K out of curiosity, honestly. Uh, Sean was in a room and he was speaking about it and he grabbed my attention. His honesty grabbed my attention. He was so blunt and honest. And I'm like, hey, what is this? What is this about? And I heard him. I think it was Lisa. You're telling um she'll have her card. Someone she'll have her card in like 30 minutes. I was laughing. I'm like, come on, Sean. I got my card in no time. <laughs> By the time I'm like, hey, I'm interested. But I want to know what what this is about. And he's like, oh, check your, check your uh, DM. I'm like, what? And each time, you know, someone comes to the room and I hear telling, telling them about the card, I'm like, okay, they're going to be amazed. And they come back with, you know, testimony and say, hey, I love it. But it's amazing. And I really appreciate what you do. I've been off clubhouse for the past two weeks, you know, back to school. Life happens. I need a reset. But it's so, I, I'm so loving the card. Like, persons will reach out to me and they're like, hey, uh, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, click the link in my bio. Because you click the link in my bio, you know everything about me. So if anyone is in the room and you want to know a little bit more, more about what I do, because I am an affiliate with some companies, you can always click the my IG uh, from my bio here, then click that link in Amos, and you'll learn everything about me. I am here to learn, meet, you know, grow together, share, all that's positive. I'm done speaking for now. Thank you, Sean. You all have an amazing day. This is Kim. I'm done. You're super, super welcome, Queen. In terms of making money on Clubhouse, are you making money as yet, Kim? I am not. Honestly, I okay. was just here, but what's your product? What's your product you're selling? For now, I'm I'm selling braiding, like braiding. You know, All right, yeah, good. What's it. your what's Service. your zip code? Pardon? What's your zip code? Where, where, where it's, in Atlanta? It's in Atlanta. Uh huh. Okay. Um, do you have products that you normally ship out to clients or no? No. Why don't I, you have uh, products that you ship out to clients? I don't because I right, I basically stop. Maybe I got discouraged, which is not good. But I was trying to do like air accessories. I've okay. reached out to a few vendors, but I haven't gotten anything, you know, to work with. So, so if you went to a nightclub and you said hi to two guys and they both shun you, you're gonna go back home and take off your heels. <laughs> um, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm listening. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in business, you have to be able to knock on a thousand doors before one open up. You know, those are some of the fail safe rules that I work with. So one of the things that I would definitely recommend you do, if you're into the, the hair business, mm -hmm. you should be given information as to what are the benefits that having your hair braided. What are the um what are the pros and the cons of having your hair braided? Mm -hmm. And then take a position of power as becoming an authority figure on speaking power over women and how they're carrying their hair and why they should do certain things a certain way. And educate yourself in other hairstyles that's not necessarily within your wheelhouse, but you can actually speak to it. And then when people understand that you're such an authority on the hair, they're going to say, oh man, I wish I could support her, but I'm not in Atlanta. But guess what? I can go into her shop and I can buy a few hair accessories just to show my support to her. You with me? Yes, I am. Fully. So... These are the motivations you want to find and actually start implementing those, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Um, you're it's welcome. so funny you're saying that because most time I'm in the rooms, I'm selling braids. Now, everyone who braids and persons will ask me, um, you know, how else can I support you? So, point taken, I made a note of it, I am definitely going to be on it. There you go. Another thing as well is you can tell everyone on the app, hey, look, if you're ever in Atlanta, definitely book an appointment to come and check me out. All right, because we have people flying from New York, from Los Angeles, just to come and get their hair done. 
And here's how you can make that phrase true if it's not already there. And it's already true. You just never saw it from this perspective. Maybe you haven't seen this from this perspective before. Have you ever had a client from Los Angeles? Uh, no. Have you ever had a client from New York? Uh, no. Are all your fucking clients born and growing um, in Atlanta? No, I've had... Good. I've, no. So find out where they're from. Find out where they're from. And then start leveraging the advertising correctly. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'll say this again. Do you think you have clients from New York? Yes. Thank you. Do you think you have clients from Los Angeles? Yes. Do you think you have clients from Miami? Yes, I do. Will it be false advertising if you say you have clients from all over the U.S., you have clients from New York, from Miami, and from Los Angeles? It would definitely not be. It would not be true if you say that? No, I'm saying it wouldn't be. A, it would be true oh, if I say all over the U.S. Very good. So marketing comes down to the choice of words. Once you use those choice words correctly and you put it out to the public, it's going to position you in a place of power, and that's how you're going to start getting paid on it. Okay? Now, you didn't have to go and tell them these clients flew in to get their service done by me. Nope, these clients are from these places. That's number one. Number two, when you're on Clubhouse, another thing that you can start doing, I would say, for another three to four months, is say, hey, if ever you're in the Atlanta area, come and get an appointment. Look, I'll even give you 50% off. I'll even give you a free year setup. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. In fact, no. I'll give you a free um, hair accessory when you get your hair done between this time and this time. Because I'm not really big on the free stuff. The free stuff is just to get their attention. Yes. When you're exercising your craft, when you're exercising your craft, let them pay for your craft. Um, and um, when that happens, get them to make a post that they can all the way from New York to get um, their stuff done. Okay. Okay? Also, that, when you start working from that angle for the next three to four months, you'll be amazed to know how much content you can build. And then you can literally go out there and say, look, we have clients flying in from all over the country just to get their hair done. Check out the videos. Bam. You put that out there. Done. Okay. Thank you. I, def I definitely will act on it. And I will be back to tell you the results. Yeah, I appreciate it you, you got it. You got it. Now we're on to the Brandon Architect. The Brandon Architect, how are you? I'm doing great. How you doing? Good, good, hey, good morning on the house. Can you, you know hear me? Good. Yep, yep, we can hear you. Welcome to the room. Introduce yourself to the audience screen. Let them know who you are and what you do. Well, good morning, everybody on the from the East Coast. Um, it's probably super early in the morning on the West Coast. Um, my name is Patricia Oxford. Um, you can call me Corey. I'm the branding architect. <clears throat> I deal with helping people uh, gain visibility uh, with branding. More specifically, I help them gain visibility by helping them create marketing materials for they, their events. I help them by designing their website um, and websites from Shopify to Wix to WordPress. I even do weekly. Um, we do simplified processes that help people get online and get paid. Um, I also have a program that help parents hire their kids. So I know a lot of people go online and they're like, oh, I read this post about hiring my kids. Well, I have a program where I teach high school students, uh, well, middle school to high school, 13 to 14 years old, um, well, 14 to 16, how to work for their parents. Um, it's called the Digital Sensei Program. And what I teach them is branding and marketing and how to design websites. Right now in my program, I have my kids uh, going over Shopify, and they just finished uh, learning how to tell a brand story utilizing uh, Photoshop. So we get into all of that so that they can take that same information and then go and design and create marketing materials for their parents' businesses. So I believe that's very effective in being able to uh, work with them. Um, and they understand what their parents are doing. So I love that. I also, since being uh, in this space, it's so amazing. I've been able to quit my job in December, go from $1,400 a month working for somebody else. And when I went from working from them, I work for myself 
I celebrated making five thousand dollars a month, make, reaching five thousand people on Clubhouse, um, and three thousand on Instagram. And I teach people how to use Canva to unlock their creativity as solopreneurs. Um, yeah. Um, I just love everything about this. So I'm here. I love you, TK. I know we were supposed to talk about how to come up with something that works for me, but apparently everybody already got something that's like me. So um, I'm here for it. I'm ready to reach those 10 plus K months. Um, if you are having any issues or concerns, um, I will tell you this. If you want to get found, if you want to gain visibility, create your Google My Business page. Um, I've been telling people that for the longest, for months now, and when I keep telling people that same thing over and over again, I'm just like, just do it. You need to gain visibility. You need people to see you. So put yourself on Google. Go to business.google.com and sign up and put your business on there. If you need help, you can text me. It's in my bio. I also uh, believe in solving problems. So a lot of people on, aren't able to make money on Clubhouse or on social media because they don't understand how to solve people's problems. You need to be able to go out there and just because you make an amazing speech on Clubhouse, you want to go to your Instagram and know that that information supports what you have. So make sure you have the solutions that you solve on there. I promise you, uh, you'll be able to grow, grow, grow. You can look at my profile. If you're having issues with reels, if you're having issues with uh, anything with visibility, it's a million dollars of information on my profile. And uh, I love to help. So thank you so much for allowing me to speak. My name is Cortesia, the Branding Architect. And I, I'm in love with branding. And it shows on your Instagram, Queen. I'm living for that Instagram. Oh, I'm all over your Instagram right now. I'm living for it. It's breathing life into me. Thank you, Queen. Thank you. There we go. I'm over here wondering if I could take the, the teenager course um, for myself. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, this queen, she is a ninja over here. I love it. <laughs> because I'm an old lady and need, need that kind of knowledge. <laughs> well, you can, and this is what I'll say. You have to operate within your wheelhouse, number one. Number two, if you need something where it's like individual, we can sit down and we can pinpoint on a specific problem. Like, if it's something you're like, okay, I need to learn how to use Canva. I already created a course for it. I can teach you that. If you want to learn how to uh, come up with a strategy for your brand, I can teach you that too. Um, you can just, you know, text me, message me. We can work something out and be able to go from there. I will say this. A lot of people on this app have been telling people, just get started. You can go into Canva and create you a logo or a link in bio. Uh, you're in this 10K room. Get you a 10K card, call it a day. Because what's happening is that people are going and creating these link in bios on Canva. And as soon as Canva updates or anything like that, then everything is out of the wheelhouse. You only get back what you invest. And if you keep trying to do things, uh, cutting corners, you're not going to get to being a uh, prosperous where you need to be. A lot of us didn't get a million dollar loan from our parents. So I understand we have to try and, you know, make things happen, but don't cut corners for the sake of people understanding that your branding quality. You know what I'm saying? I've been able to increase I've been able to increase my prices consistently. Like I used to charge two hundred dollars for a website. I was able to send out an invoice to somebody for five thousand dollars because I'm telling them, this is my branding. I'm showing you what is there. I'm, I am I, I got value. I'm pricing for value. I'm not pricing myself to being poor. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to price myself into poverty. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. I will hit you up. Thank $200. you. $200. Oh, uh-uh. I love that. Uh -uh. That's oh, I'm not pricing for poverty. <laughs> I love it, Queen. I'm not pricing for property. I know that's right. Get what you pay for. Absolutely. You tell them you know your worth. And you don't want those clients that only want to pay $200. Oh, they need to go to Burger King. They don't need to come to your brand queen. Uh-uh. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny. When someone pay you 200 it's to bother you. <laughs> they pay you 
to her for permission to body you. <laughs> Don't do that. And no, I have the first clients that you can't get rid of. They like a disease. Yes. They're like, oh. <laughs> It was bad. Like, I used to give people a whole website with search engine optimization because I used to work for the Yellow Pages in the search engine optimization department. So I used to sit there and say, okay, let me, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me, let me come. You know, I used to try and let me help people. But I can't help nobody being broke. I can't help nobody being broke. I can't help nobody being stressed out. I can't help nobody being tired. I put a lot of work in there. And just because, and this is what a lot of people go into and what I used to go into, is just because somebody tells me no or just because somebody's like, oh, I can't do this right now. Like, I got 18 people in my inbox. They're like, I know your price is worth it. I'm going to come back to you when you get there. That's fine. Come back to me when you get your coins together. I'm not upset. I'm not hurt. I'm not, I'm not going to hold that as a personal thing because in order for me to elevate, in order for me to go to the next level, you might not be my client right now. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But that's why we always, because we understand everybody is not our customer, we have different pricing models. So we have our DIY. We have our done with, and then we have our done for you. I, um, I did a live the other day because you know OnlyFans is changing how they're doing things or they were trying to, right? And when they were trying to change how they were doing things, it was like, okay, what are you going to do? Pay attention to the things that are around you in popular media. Membership saves businesses. Think about when you download the Chick-fil-A app on your phone, when you get those points, or when you order a pizza and you get those points and things like that. You want to be a part of a membership. I promise you, if you start a membership on something, that is for your tribe, solves problems, and is about your community. I promise you, that will at least take care of your financial, your foundational expenses as a part of your business. Amen, Queen. Yes, it's ain't Burger King. You can't have it your way. <laughs> no, absolutely not. And you know, a lot of people have stopped doing that single coaching one on one. I call it a high level one on one coaching website. Because it's draining. It will drain the lifeblood out of you. That's why everyone does group coaching. Or they say, come into my class. If you're coming at that low level, hang your fruit. Okay, let's teach you how to do a landing page. You click this link. It's a self-directed course. And you can go through that. But if you want more help, come on into the group coaching. And we started at $5.99. I'm just throwing out a number. <laughs> if you really want the real tea on how to leverage fast. That's the difference between... You're moving at a slow pace with everybody else, and you're speeding up your progress. You either want it or you don't. I'm with you, Queen, 100%. <laughs> love it, love it. Love the Brandon Art Tech. I love that energy you just brought over there, Queen. That's number one, number two. Um, I want you to check out. Um, I just sent you the link to edit your um to edit the card. Anything that you want to have edited on the card, and send over your cell phone number. We're gonna hop on the call. Because one of the things that we are promoting, are you working with payments as yet? Are you working with Jason? Yes, I do. Beautiful. So we also have a partnership in place with Jason, and we're now creating a way for all of us to start making money together, supporting each other and getting each other paid. So I'm going to DM you my um, my number and also send you over yours. We're going to hop on a call when it's convenient to you, and then we're going to chop up something that makes sense. Sounds good? Yes, sir. Thank you so, so much. You got it, Queen. The more we work together, the more we can leverage each other's community to do great things. Because having to hear you speak on stage just on the amount of value that you just dropped, anything that I can do to help send customers your way because I know you will be a value for them is definitely something I'm interested in. Okay, that's it. We will hop on a call later. A call later. That is ER. In fact, let me see, send me your, I want to send me a number, I'll save it, I don't know who's calling. Send me a number, and we'll have to call it, boom. Okay, so I, I back channel you the number, and let me also back channel you the card that connects you to the card security. team. Damn, someone is really going crazy with my login, chat. Someone is really having fun with my login right now. I love it. All right, boom, got your queen. All right, that's that. 
All right. So, David, first of all, David, this is a queen first stage, okay? So you're going to sit your ass on ice right now while we go to Monica, and then we're going to go to Lauren. Monica, welcome to the building. How are you, queen? Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Bring that 12-year-old energy in here. She <laughs> looks like 21 or speak like 12. <laughs> oh, I go hope everyone it. is doing well. Thank you for having me. You are welcome. So tell the audience about you and also... Do you have a product or a service that you normally promote on Clubhouse? Well, I have it. We have a service. My husband and I uh, own a renovation company in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. And we do um, whole home renovations, flips, decks. Um, I'm listening. Yeah. <laughs> So we're a minority-owned business. Um, we are in, again, Charlotte, North Carolina. And we're with the, uh, we have our certification with the NC3 Business Concerns, uh, as well as construction management training with HCAC, which is the Hispanic Contra Contractors um, Association of the Carolinas. And we have an A-plus accreditation with the Better Business Bureau. All right. Are you getting more business than you can handle, or there's room for more? There is room for more. Okay. What are you doing on Clubhouse to bring attention to your business? I just started on Clubhouse, so I am learning and accepting all um, information that can better uh, for my husband and I. Very good. Okay, I'm loving that. Because at the end of the day, you always want little things that's going to add value to you and your family. And whenever you're on the Clubhouse Queen, I yes. always want to hear you mentioning your business. Okay. Because someone may know someone in North Carolina that they can now start pointing them to you. The mistake, the mistake that we sometimes make is saying, oh man, I'm in North Carolina, that person's in New York, that person's in Los Angeles, that person's in Miami, whatever it is. But what you're not thinking of is that that person might be connected to someone in North Carolina that's actually looking for you. Correct. Okay, so always exercise that thinking wherever you go. And um, in terms of uh, your card, I want to fill out the affiliate link that was sent to you. Did you yes. register that? Yet? Yes. Okay, so I want you to log in and copy your affiliate link and send it over to me. When okay. you send it over, we're going to add it onto your card. And then whenever you're out and about on Clubhouse and someone decides to make a purchase from you, you're going to get 20% on all your 10K card sales. Okay? okay? And then when you do plan to open up your room, then we're going to turn it up a notch and we have a 30% uh, um, reward program that we're going to start um, telling you guys about pretty soon. Awesome. Oh, yes. I haven't tickled the Brandon expert with that one. <laughs> <laughs> the Brandon Arctic, I haven't tickled you with that one. <laughs> Did you hear that one or no? <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm gonna get her in touch with that one. So I want to text you. So log in and then you'll text me your um you'll text me your affiliate link and then we're gonna add it onto the card for you. Okay, Quinn? Thank you. Now, now you came yesterday and you got your card one, two, three. What inspired you to do so? Tell tell the audience. What inspired me, uh, besides yourself to to get the ten K card. It's going to add value, of course, uh, to my family and I. We're able to make more money and um, put us in the 21st century, di digital. Everything is digital there now, so, so why not? Um, th this is brilliant. There we go. And one of the things that I love is uh, when we spoke yesterday, you had a paper card. And if you meet someone uh, across the country, there is nothing that you can really do for them. Okay, Correct. and that's what was important for me. For you to have something that no matter where you go, you have something you can share with everyone, anywhere, at any time. Yes. Okay, sounds good? Yes, sounds welcome, amazing. Welcome to the family, Queen. I'm sending that big mental hug over to you, okay? Thank you. Thank <laughs> You're you welcome. You. you got it. Lauren, welcome to the building. How are you? Lauren, Hello. Sorry, I was What the I... heck were you doing hanging out in the bottom so long? What What's wrong with you? What are you what trying to what the heck? You're trying, to sit, you're trying to sit. you trying to sit. like an audience member. Well, I, can, I, can, I, I can bring people in on stage in the audience. Doesn't matter. They all follow me. <laughs> there we go. So how's everything, Queen? How's everything with you? Everything is amazing. I 
always love working with you, collaborating with you. You have just, you know, when I came up with an idea of Give Heart, Give More, which is Donate10K.com, you know, where I'll put anybody who has a 501c3 and a donation page, uh, just giving that opportunity to grow and all those cards of my affiliation program to be able to go back and give back to, like, different charities. I just can't thank you enough for giving this opportunity for non for profits to working with, you know, Sherlock Holmes foundation and myself, you know, you've made, you've made a lot of people's dreams come true and, and letting this grow and, and become like the best digital business card I've ever, ever seen. I used to have one before and used to be affiliation program, but I left them completely left them and went to hundred <laughs> percent to 10 K cards because you know what? It's 10,000% better. And with that, you know, Sean, I owe you so much credit. I'm using it more in collaborations, more acknowledgements. I do like the old paper cards, but I put the QR code on my old paper card now. So nice. that I can still do it both ways. The QR codes on all advertisements and everything that's going out. And I, and I tell my friends and family about it. And they're like, wow, I need to step up. So we're getting everyone to grow with us, the entire board members of the foundations that I sit on are going to grow with us and everything's going to go back for good charities and good cause. And it's all because of you, Sean, and our collaboration and, and pure enough, our friendship. And I really appreciate it. Your customer service is amazing. I sent in a, a, a request and it's done within 45 minutes. It's so fast. It's the best, best customer service I've ever had. I wish banks were better. Uh, because I just left the bank when they said it was HIPAA law that they couldn't provide some information to me, and I laughed my ass off. And, uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, I was like, a bank with HIPAA law? Like, this is not medical. You're watching too much, uh, too much COVID vaccine <laughs> stories. I'm like, That's I was right. dying. I was dying. But I handed out my 10K uh, affiliation for them so that they can call me back when they got their acts together. But yeah, uh, <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're super, super welcome, Queen. And the most important thing, I love what you and Joseph is, Jacob is doing, sorry, within the nonprofit world, because sometimes we take for granted how the small things can help. That's number one. Number two, there's so many people out there that actually want to help, but they don't know how to go about doing so. And with what you're doing and raising the awareness, I promise you, you'll be able to get so much more assistance from places that is actually in a position to do so. Oh, okay. Absolutely. When last you saw Jacob? When did I last see Jacob? Yeah, I haven't seen him on the app for a minute. Oh, he is literally stuck in a school bus driving around the country right now for Sherlock right. Holmes Foundation. It's our big fundraising event, and uh, we're opening up all these homes to basically give homes to children who got kicked out for coming out. And uh, so Jacob's been very busy. He hasn't really even been on Clubhouse at all. But he's going to do a few conferences in Mexico coming up uh, in two weeks. He'll be in New York City um, sometime. I can't remember the date with RB Realtor. And uh, so he's, he's, he's still out there. He's, he's promoting the card. He's doing everything in the real world. He doesn't always have to promote here on Clubhouse. So right. he's making it work. I love it, love it. Whatever but I'll, I'll send that... him your love. That's Can I jump in here for one second? Go for it, Queen. Go for it. Lauren, I'm going to follow you. My name is Mojisola Wilson. I'm a Nigerian woman that's a lesbian, so my wife and I are in exile, self-imposed, because in our country, we'll be given free room and board for 14 years. Basically, we'll be locked up for 14 years. Jacob yes. and I are friends, and he's, oh, fantastic. he's going to stop by since when we get here. When he gets here, yes. he's going to stop by us, but we own a 40-acre ranch that we're creating an African village out of. And the purpose of that is to leave it to our, our not-for-profit, African LGBTQ. Um, oh my gosh, he told me about you. Our Absolutely. Purpose, our purpose is to leave this to a foundation that will carry on what we've been doing, which is empowering um, African LGBTQs across the globe through education and vocational training, helping them set up their businesses, we are self-funded. We do not take any grants because awesome. we tend to like to do what we want to do. That's How awesome. 
the and next situation is not going to fit into the model, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to link really up with you guys and see what we can do together. Just, I mean, Jacob and I have been talking about maybe we can put up like three acres and just put up some trailer homes there. Which yes, we shelter. talked about it. Right. So I'm glad you see see why 10K cards is creating amazing magical moments here. Absolutely. I would have done it to you if I just stayed in my own comfort zone. So thank you again, 10K cards. But I'm oh my god. Now. Moja, absolutely. Thank you so much. We talked about you, about two board meetings to go. I sit on the board. I'm one of the uh, the top board members. And uh, we did. We totally talked about what you're doing on your ranch and the opportunities and the trailers. We love it, love it, love it. So absolutely. I can't wait to meet you even in person uh, because 10K Cards brings us all together. Amen to the 10th power. Thank you. Yes, again. I, I'll, it's I'll a, inbox you. It's a win-win. Can't complain. Now let's see. Um, let's move on to Professor David. How are you, sir? Big John, man, I got the news of the week, bro. Um, go for it. Go for it. Share it with the audience. Man, you you are my business business coach, man. First of all, um, my name is David Evans, president of Pig TV Network, a brand new network on Roku with sixty channels, strange from um, cooking shows to talk shows to movies and. Um, music and others. Um, we're in the process of putting together a 10K channel with Sean will be over uh, late September. You'll see that and have you guys be a part of it. But last night, because Sean taught me how to put the time in, I was in the studio at 3 in the morning. I got a connection from Dana Evans. She is from the WMBNA. She works um, well, she plays for uh, Chicago's uh, women's team, and um, she gave a shout out to to the network. And she asked me, uh, "What do we need?" Um, I'm gonna talk to her about the change day card, and everybody she knows. I'm setting up something with her. Um, you guys can see the interview I did last night. It was only for like two minutes, but it was just amazing. I sent it to Sean already. Um, I got a meeting today at 3 p.m. Somebody from Tyler Perry's office called me today. But they, they just texted me. I want the son to be on that call um, today at 3 p.m. It's just amazing when when you call to do something and you you do it and you put the time in. I haven't been asleep to 2 in the morning for a year because when I started this television network last year, this time when my sister passed away, um, I started with one channel, turning 25 channels, now 60 channels. And literally, when you turn on a television and you turn on the Roku and you go to the Big TV Network, that's our channels. And we, we program them, mm -hmm. show them, we have you guys on. I wanted to get with Lisa, who's on here, because I heard a spark in your voice. And also with us, our brand new sister queen. You guys can call me when we finish this meeting. Um, I want you talk, guys to talk to, uh, talk to me about how we can even take it to a higher level. Um, I'm in a position now where I'm tapping into stars like Kern, uh, uh, Raw, Ward Ross. Uh, she has about 12 or 13 movies out. She texts me and she wants to do something on our um, channel. It's an inspirational, um, devotional type of um, um, show. So um, it's amazing, you guys. And I just, I'm just so, I felt so honored and blessed and humbled. Because my mother and father raised me right, first of all. And um, I'm in a position to, to really look out for people who come my way who want to do something in the television world. And um, Sean, thank you, man. You know I love you, bro. That's so, why uh, I'm in the room every morning and um, push me towards stardom, man. And look at what I sent you on that, that channel from, uh, from that interview with the WNBA. All right, bro. I'm gone. You got it, Captain. I'll check it out there as soon as I get off the line. Because I'm one of those guys that can only focus on one thing at a time. <laughs> my wife called my disadvantage. I call it my superpower. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Popcorn style. Who want to take the mic to speak on what when it comes to how to become a paid moderator on Clubhouse? Any question, any observation, any shares? Lisa, how are you? Lisa's busy in the background. 
dancing. <laughs> I I just want to say I'm so super excited about this, man. It is awesome. I am glad that I jumped on here this morning. The knowledge that was dropped in here, and I told you before, like I, I don't even have to pay a business coach name no more. I just gotta come and listen to Sean and <laughs> make some collaborations with people. This is awesome. If you guys are not excited, something wrong. Uh, man, I don't know what to tell y'all. Oh, by the way, Sean, how do I get my um, Bam Eco link on my... Um, okay, so text it. Um, do you have the links to make edits? Yeah, take on the dot form. Put on the dot yeah, form. Yeah, exactly. Just okay, do, all right. About it'll do it that. immediately for you. All right, and the payment thing did not work. However, J-Lo reached out to me, and I just responded to him and told him, so hopefully he'll get working on that for me. They didn't know, hopefully, he's going to get his ass on it because we need <laughs> to get that set up correctly so we can um, we can get to set up here and meet the sponsors for him. Oh, okay, awesome. so, yeah, so be honest with him. Keep me up to date because before the end of today, I want to make sure it's resolved so we can actually add it onto your card as well. Awesome, okay. awesome, awesome. Yes, and I'm going to jump off, but um, I'll, I'll see y'all sometime soon. In you the Travel Street, making money right. while we sleep. There we go. I like that. Shit, yeah, that's going to be the next time. Next time, oh, wait, making, no. most, making money at the house while we sleep. Yeah, yeah. And I need to talk to David, too. Maybe there's something I can do on that television station where I'll be talking about educating people on financial literacy, understanding how money works, so we can really, really, truly change the game. Because we, we, we all can make money. But it's all about, it's not all about just making money. It's about keeping it and, and about making it go generationally. Because if we don't educate people, it's going to be gone in this generation. And then what? There you we know? go. And then what? You hit me up. Um, I'm here. And get, remember, we got 60 channels. That means every half an hour a show comes on. So we have enough for everybody. We can't wait till our fall shows pop up. Yeah, just six text me and I'll call me. My number works, and, and we we connect with Sean and, and partnership, and he's my business coach. So we got you. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Sean. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm Thank you. Um, you keep talking about um, uh, create a create a what is it a room? Uh huh. Uh, it's a, not a room. Not a, what are you? What's uh, uh, create a club? Create a club. Create a club. So All I've right. only been on Clubhouse a, a, a minute and a half. How do I go about creating a club? Very good. So click on your profile picture. By the way, you're answering my question at the same time. That was the same question that I had. Yeah, perfect. Good. That's the power. That's the power of this conversation. I love it. So okay. once you click, once you click on the um, once you click on your profile, scroll towards the bottom, and you're gonna see member of, and it's gonna have all the different clubs that you're following. Yes. All right. So scroll to the very back until you see the plus sign. Keep scrolling to the left until you see the plus sign. They oh. have a lot of clubs. Okay. Cool. All right. So did you see the plus sign as yet? Yes. Shit. I'm still scrolling. Okay. So click on the plus sign. And that's how you start a club. Easy peasy. Thank you so much. Look, look how easy that was. Absolutely. Okay. Um, Ursula, you got that as well, yeah? I think that's a yes. All right. Um, does anyone on stage did not sign up for a club as yet? Is anyone on stage that didn't sign up? Lisa, you didn't sign up as yet, Queen? I have not. First of all, I was still on the call, but just working in the background. Tick Tick right. Cars has already said, this is your draft, take a look. So that's what yep. I'm doing. And I want to thank you so much, David. I will absolutely text you as soon as I get off this, uh, get out of this clubhouse today. I'll text you because I definitely want to speak with you. I have not created uh, a clubhouse yet, but I will do it. I will do it today. That's right. Very good. As soon as you're ready, um, if you need any assistance, every morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard, we open up a room. And at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard, we open up another room. And the purpose of that is to answer any question, uh, 10K cars related also, to see how we can help you in your business and your profession to push and do more for you and your clients. 
Okay, so anyone that needs any kind of business assistance in any way, we see what friends you can bring on stage to assist you and anything 10K cars related, boom, we're all in. This was excellent. Thank you so much, Sean. Thank you. You are super, super welcome, Queen. Are there any additional questions um, from the audience, guys, or we're pretty cool for today? Oh, sorry, uh, Mr. McKeem, how are you, sir? Pretty good. How are you doing, man? I'm good, good. Welcome to the stage, man. Tell the audience who you are and what you're up to. Oh, how you doing? Hi, how are you doing? My name is McKeem Duck, and um, I'm not that new to Clubhouse. been on here since, um, I would say, last December. Um, I run an all-inclusive sports agency, uh, you know, basketball, football, everything. Um, we just merged with Tiff Down Management, so, you know, we have about three NFL agents, two NBA agents, two FIBA license agents, 10 NFL clients, um, and about 15 overseas clients. Um, so yeah, that's me. That's what I do. Um, and I'm just on here, honestly, to kind of figure out the module of how to make money on Clubhouse. I've done it on Instagram and Facebook. Now I'm trying to learn Clubhouse. All right. So how did you make your money on Instagram? Let me show you how similar things are. Well, um, I kind of just do, I created my module based off of just my website um, and then just direct funneling people to my website, viewing information, and then routing them back to a phone call and that, and then therefore I would turn a sale. Um, but to get them, I would have to message them, uh, you know, a brief message, just kind of explaining what I do. And I don't message anybody. I message people who need my services. People who play basketball, uh, you know, um, mainly basketball. The, MNF, the NFL, NBA side, those guys are more so direct direct communication, not more so through my website. My website is mainly for guys on the lower level. You know, guys who are, I don't know if you guys know basketball, but guys who didn't do very well, Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, tried to high school, there's literally thousands and millions of people like that. So that's my uh, demographic people. And that's, that's my process of turning sales on Instagram and Facebook. Got you. Um, because it's not that, it's not that complicated, brother. Most people think it is, but it's not, you know, and you just have to always stay focused. So when you're in clubhouse, what rooms do you find yourself visiting? Uh, mostly find myself visiting rooms, uh, VC investors, um, how to pitch or it's not business rooms mostly. Um, uh, and I, I do sometimes hop in the follow, follow rooms, um, when I early on, but, um, I actually stopped hopping in those rooms just because, um, I feel like I can gain more traction of followers by figuring out my own niche and I, I can only figure out my niche by communicating with people who actually use this app for proper reasons. Right. I like that. I like that. Um, okay, so we touch on that. We touch on that. What else? What else are we missing? What else are we missing, sir? Um, I just got excited. I just realized that I had four and two, six, and... Uh, Four and two, six and three. I just realized I had nine hundred bucks on PayPal sitting there for me <laughs> because Bam was um Bam was in the room running up and down clubhouse and we made about seven hundred bucks this week with Bam guys. And I'm not one to run and say, oh, we made this here. No, I'm not about that life. Fuck that. I'll tell you as it is. So I'm surprised it didn't pop in today. You want to say something, um, Queen? Yes, I, I needed to ask a question in terms of setting up the um, club. What's the okay. name norm? Um, like it, it asks for a club name, then it says subject. Um, right. Recommendation as to how you should structure that. Okay, so what's the what name did you have in mind? Did you have a name set up as yet? Well, like what I, club. Like for example, my club right here is uh, 10K Cards. That's the name of my club. What okay, club you that, have in mind? Well, I guess mine is more sounding like a subject because I was thinking about doing fearless or reckless. Okay, so the, so the name of your club is fearless or reckless. 
Okay. Okay, and then um, the title, what's going to be the, the title discussed in that club? Well, what that was going to lead to is fearless or, or reckless as it relates to business decisions, what life lessons learned. Um, what would you do better? What would you do different? Um, was it fearless or was it reckless? Just those kinds of discussions. I, I, I would actually name your club something along business, uh, a business entity type of name, and then use the different rooms over the topics that you want to use when you schedule your rooms. So I would come up with a creative business name, um, or even if you use your own business, you can use that and run the rooms under that if it works with your business. Okay, thank you. Does that make sense? That was a good um, good suggestion. My the name of my room is How Money Works. My club. The name of my club is How Money Works. The yeah, How perfect. Money I, Works Club. Yeah, I have like five different clubs, and it all bases on different things. But the one I most likely use is behind the uh, behind the champion, uh, because there's. You know, you can be a champion in entrepreneurship, you can be a champion in sports, you can be a champion every day. So that's what I run my club name. So you have to find a creative name that you can put all your topics under. So I hope that helps. Thank you. The good thing is you can also have multiple clubs. Personally, I like fearless and reckless. Because fearless or reckless, sorry. Because it's a conversation, in my opinion, it's a conversation starter. Are you fearless or reckless? Either answer you give me, meet me in the club. Today we're going to be discussing what entrepreneurs um, have to overcome to become successful. And they will be held in the Fearless and Reckless Club. Today we'll be discussing the, um, the failures entrepreneurs had. And they will be discussing the Fearless and Reckless Club. I can see a way to market the Fearless and Reckless um, personally. Also, with um, what Lauren just mentioned, you can have multiple clubs. You don't have to pigeonhole yourself for one thing. So if okay. you know your spirit, fearless or reckless, is in your spirit, you keep that goddamn spirit with you. Make no mistake okay. about it. It 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 feels comfortable for me because then I I love getting going deep with conversations about where a person is coming from and learning the life lessons from that. So I was thinking exactly what you came out with in terms of changing it up. It could be business. It could be about relationships. It could be about children. You know. I'll give you guys. I'll give you guys a joke. When I decided to launch 10k cars, um, 10,000 cars, right? My main engineer said, "You're fucking crazy." He said, "You can the other stuff. Why are you choosing Google Lisa books and I want thing?" And then when I decided to say this book, when I spoke with him months, he's like, "You're a fucking animal." That's what he said. He said, and then here's what he went to say gets. He said, the results you received at the back office is extraordinary. That's number one. Number two, had you put that energy into another name, it probably would have been further. And then I kind of had to remind him that the journey of us getting to where we got to now, there's so much intel that we now have that we're going to create extraordinary names. Because by pushing the 10K court brand to where it is right now, it gives us an extremely amazing blessed path that we can now go and launch almost anything instant success. And at the, at, the, at the end of the day, I still get to brag the 10K car title. So whenever something is in your heart, guys, and this goes for everyone, go with it. It may sound crazy. Exactly the fucking idea you want to run with. Okay, think of that just for a second. That's been my model, guys. Um, Kenyatta, welcome to the stage. Take the mic. Kenyatta, are you available for an hour? I am. I'm right here. Hi, Sean. Hi, everybody. Super good day. I'm going to be on mute. You're in charge for the next hour, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right, Queen. In fact, wait a minute. That was so unfair of me. Tiffany, before Tiffany Sarkin can ask. Tiffany, are you available for the next hour? Oh, I'm traumatized. My baby just left me. I mean, my grown adult son just walked okay, out the door to go you home. Keep on, you can keep on your damn soapbox. <laughs> give it to Queen. You, you give it to Queen Kenyatta. I'm, I'm crying over here. Oh, I can feel it. Wait, before before a tear fall, can you tell me what we're talking about? Because I see it's how to get paid as a moderator. And I'm guessing yeah, yeah. we're talking about the, um, the sponsorship with the six um, ways that you can create income when you're hosting your own room and things like that. So what have Very we... Good. Uh, yeah, so, so what have we what already covered? Float, what I want to float around the room basically is how people from being on Clubhouse and how they're really connected 
on Clubhouse and uh, money for them. Uh oh, I so can't hear just, you, just Sean. Oh wait, can you hear me now? Okay, yeah. Yeah. So what you want to do is just basically have the conversation with the client. Okay. That's easy because okay, and then from that, then we can start tying it into the 10k cards and the other stuff that we're familiar with. Okay. Got it, got it. Okay, we are going to make sure everyone goes through the uh, 10K card link in the top because he's sponsoring the room. So if anyone wants to tap in, they need to tap in through Mr. Sean 10K's card and go down to his affiliate link. So, And we all benefit from that. So just want to do some housekeeping. But let me go back to being traumatized. Thank you, Queen. <laughs> Don't I sound traumatized? You do not. You sound like you're taking it all in stride. And just know that you you gave him everything to make sure that he's going to execute it out there in the world. You created a great human being. And I know that just from you. Okay? Yes, Queen, I did. But oh, every time he walks out the door, he takes a piece of me with him. <laughs> Aww, that's so sweet. So let me ask everybody. Who isn't familiar already with the opportunity that is the sponsorship? Hi, it's Tanya. Um, I don't know the whole deal yet. I've heard bits and pieces so far. Okay, Tanya. So to bring you up to speed, boss lady, how are you today? Um, excellent. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so yesterday you had an earful of everything that the 10K card is, right? Yes, and I went ahead and purchased the card, and I'm still working on getting it perfect. Okay, yeah, that's an ongoing thing because you're going to, if you're anything like me, you're going to be like, oh, and it needs this, and oh, it needs that. So that's an ongoing thing. That's normal. <laughs> perfect. Imagine you getting linked up with other like-minded businesses and have the same opportunity with those businesses as it is afforded to you with the 10K card. Basically, that's the sponsorship. And so, Mr. Don, he comes into the room from time to time. He's a credit... Oh, how did he say this yesterday? He's a debt eliminator specialist. So you need somebody like that on your team. A lot of people always think about how to minimize their taxes, and that's what the world is on, right? How, how to not pay Uncle Sam the money. But very few people are savvy enough to be able to do the same thing with the interest because, you know, with the amortized debt, you can actually pay for a house twice. And everybody, when they, you know, do the mortgage, they look at the, you know, the sale price. They don't really check to see what that house, what you would have paid for after the 30 years that's on that same document. So Don helps facilitate that. And then you have Mr. Bam. He is a, um, a media expert. Um, him and I believe David. Am I right, Ursula? Am I right, Tiff? Everybody? He is um, with Pick TV. And so now you're um, linked up with that affiliate, right? Which is going to be a huge, huge deal. And in my role, it's already a huge deal because we're able to participate in it, whereas we could not dream a network would be working with us closely right now. So that is a big, big deal already off the bat. And then we have payment. Payment is with um, King This is in an app that enables you to do what you do with PayPal and then some. And so anytime you run or anytime somebody that uses your affiliate link um, runs something through payment, you get a portion of it. And let me just go back to Don. I think Don said for every customer that comes through your link, if they are nurtured and go past the nurturing phase, uh, then you get a $200 commission. But none of these people are really concerned with the money, mind you. They're trying to share the wealth. And so they don't necessarily want you to position yourself to run after the money. That's like the cherry on top. We want you to use the products. We want you to understand how you know it's utilized in people's lives so that you can articulate it. And because you are a fan of the product, get paid. Does that make sense? Absolutely, it does. And so, basically, all of these um, people, and I'll go into the others, but all of these people have said, you know what, 
we're not gonna get pay, uh, we're not gonna pay for advertisement for um you know mainstream media we're not gonna pay for commercials and you know marketing execs we're gonna let our people have the opportunity to you know promote it and they get the money as opposed to paying out this big budget so basically this is like an unheard of practice on this type of level and i'm so happy that they thought enough of 10k rooms and i know it was all sean's doing um i'm happy that they think enough of us to do that because you got so many ways to get paid and not to mention payment going back to king j-lo he has graciously allowed his affiliates to be gifted 25 shares in the company what does that mean Think about if you knew Steve Jobs before he was Steve Jobs and when he blew up, what that check would mean. So we get that opportunity right now. That's 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 what the sponsorship does. And so while, no, they don't push for you to do only that, they recognize that everybody got their daily jobs. They're not saying, you know, for a go that and do this. They're just saying, couple us in with it. We're going to sponsor you in exchange for you mis uh, mentioning how you utilize us in your life. Perfect. That sounds absolutely amazing. Doesn't it? It's, it's an opportunity I don't think I would have found anywhere else but Clubhouse. Like, I, and I tell you this, I throw um, events all the time, and I go to mom and pop places in my city, and I'll say, hey, I'm throwing this credit um, uh, seminar, or I'm throwing this single mingle event. Can you donate? They don't want to donate their products, let alone any money. So I know the value of what this means, and I just hope that everybody under the sound of my voice is understanding the, the possibilities in it. This isn't given. It's usually you got to seek them out, kind of beg them, offer them an arm, you know what I mean, to get this type of traction. Absolutely. And what I really like about all of that is you're not paying an ad, ad agency who really doesn't have any skin in the game, who's not using the product, who doesn't even care about it. Absolutely. And then you stupid angles like, this is how you sell to women, or this is how you sell to this demographic. Whereas he just purely said, this, these products can be utilized with any ethnic group, with any gender, um, any situation, any business can use all of these things and, and profit off of it in more ways than one. Because it's good tools, number one. Number two, you know, you incentivize, you know, when you do make a sale. And number three, I, I have not heard companies giving away 25 shares. I just haven't. No, that doesn't happen. <laughs> yep. So that's it in a nutshell, you guys. So um, I got some friends here on stage. And so, and new friends, I, I'm going to call you guys new friends. You don't know me just yet, but trust me, we're going to be friends. So, Ursula, how's your day going so far? How much time you got? <laughs> Actually, it's going extremely well. Um, you know, when things come together, it, it's it's a good a good day, um, and that's what's been happening. Yesterday, I mentioned that I was headed toward making a, a, a person happy. Well, she's happy. I delivered that um, legacy wall concept to her and she's been texting me all day ever since um and as I mentioned then, yeah and i pulled out the 10k card and um did business on the side while i was conducting my main business she introduced me to somebody and i went with it i i, I shared my information with that young person so um i'm loving but I have to admit, feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all the wonderful things that I'm learning. It's like, okay, so I what I just thought of before you call my name is that I'm going to make a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in order to go through what all has been presented here and how not to miss some of it. It's wow. like, okay. Wow. Wow. It's amazing. I'm going to do the same. And you want to know why? Because every time somebody talks as women, you know how our minds start to race, right? And we mm -hmm. try to figure out how to fit it in our life and stuff. That's actually an excellent idea. I'm going to join you with that. I want to know, too. I don't want to miss a thing. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. 
Okay, so um, I'll DM you and we'll we'll collaborate on that. I would like <laughs> to I would like to help with that. Yes, of course. Okay. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Queen. <laughs> it's hard, Hi. Try, it's Hi. hard Hi. trying to get back when you're in somebody's profile. I was in uh, one of the ladies, <laughs> um, the Brent Architects page. We're back and forth on messaging. But oh, how are you, Queen? I'm good. I'm good. I see you and Carmen can help me out with Tanya when it comes down to Mr. Bam, Bam, Bam. Bam, Bam. <laughs> I just became a BAM today. <laughs> ah, congratulations. Here I come. I just got to sit down and finish the uh, yes. rest. BAM, BAM, BAM. <laughs> so tell yes. me, others, why did you do it? Why did you join as a sponsor? I mean, as a uh, affiliate. I joined because it, it just makes sense to shop black. It just makes sense. Like, I'm trying to build a network where it's just my people, where I can have realtors, you know, accountants, you know, branding, realtors, people like yourself in my arsenal that anybody asks, oh, I need help with this. I can send them to people that look like me. Not only that, people that's, that's why, right? People that's bad at and have yeah. an and come from the same core of ideas. So, you know what I mean? Like, like minded you know, people. Exactly. You know? Oh, Queen, you missed my room yesterday. I did my whole, my first copy. I couldn't break room. away from I my client. It. I couldn't break away from my client. Huh? What is this? Oh, 14 year old young lady one, 14 years old. When I tell you, she pitched the hell out of her business that I ordered some lippy lippies. <laughs> her, 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 her product is lippy lippy, and she makes organic, healthy lip glosses that's all yeah. organic, all natural products, all natural ingredients. And she sells them, and she is phenomenal. No, like I, I just can't believe it was a fourteen-year-old that won. Yeah, and she, it, it, she doesn't, it doesn't amaze me. It doesn't amaze me all that much because you know they got, they got it. They're born with it, and it's yeah. our, it's our job to elevate them. They come straight out the womb knowing how to do this technology stuff while we still fidgeting and been with yeah. it for a while. They, you yeah. know, it reminds me of a saying. My mom used to say, why is it yet weaker? So it's mm -hmm. our job to partner with them to make that weaker part not be so much tricky. You know? To make them strong. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I want some Lippy Lip. Man, listen. Go to her page at Lippy's L-I- Let me see. Because she spells it a little different. And Sean created her a beautiful 10K card. It's so pretty. Oh, I said, oh, look at her. And then her mom put her business to the side so she can, you know, you know, help her and push her and promote her that I volunteered to give her, sponsor her mom a car. Oh, and then what, what the, yes, what does Sean turn around and do and says, nope, we're going to give her the card still, but you're going to take that hundred dollars and I'm going to give you another hundred dollars so you can be an affiliate with them. That's how I got to be story. Uh, so now she's, she got two affiliate programs that she can access. Exactly. Well, she's well on her way. She's well on her way. And I can't wait to hear her because you just never know if the giving has stopped. Just never, never know. You so, never, never know. You just never, never know. So she need a way to accept these payments for the lippy lips, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Um, but they're already connected with payment. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's how you pay for your lippy lippy. They're already connected with payment. Oh, my goodness. She's well on her way. I cannot wait to hear it. So, Carmen. Carmen, are hey, you? Um, Carmen? Okay. Well, Tanya. 
Oh, I'm okay. sorry, I'm sorry. I had to try to get back from where I was. I was like, hey, you somewhere. <laughs> How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm doing well. I'm blessed. You know, we just met last Sunday. Thank you so much for responding to my questions in your DM. Oh, of course, of course. Somebody so that I get to understand the product a little better. You know, I was one of those people who uh, saw the um, the value at number two, but there's like so many more values, but I didn't care about that, and I went ahead and got it, and then I was like, oh crap, how do I use this? <laughs> and, and then, since we spoke, I got into another room, and um, Bam was in the room, I saw the value in that, got that as well, and was like, well, I wonder how the heck do I work it? How do I make it work? So I'm in the process of getting that done. And then uh, I also got hooked up with payment with j -Lo. He's helping me solve some problems right now. So I'm super excited because when I open my room, I'll have all those sponsorship people on my room as well as adding my own information on there. So I can't wait to see what my 10K card is going to look like. And uh, yeah, that's how you love. You don't have to wait till your room opens. You know that you can start shopping these sponsors anytime you come across somebody that needs um, the service. So oh, yeah, girl, please look. I already got a couple of people hooked up with Sean. Get in theirs, get in their cards done, and everything like that. But I'm talking about my uh, my actual club. I had gotten um, what, what's the word I should say? The solution with Clubhouse and like left. And when I came back last Sunday, Kenyatta, you were the one that were on there. Sean wasn't on there, so you can take credit. Oh, <laughs> that's got me excited again. Well, could you just tell Sean, because I want him to feel like he left uh, the room in good hands when he chooses me and Tiff, you know, to do the room. So if you could shoot him over um, a little note like, hey, by the way, you know what I mean? That was Girl. Girl, we told him together already. Remember, he was gonna go ahead and give you my uh, my my uh, the money from mine. Oh, like you. oh, that's right. That's that's the day he helped me with my room too. Yes, yes. That day I left the the room so full, you guys. I had a room. I already went on Canva and created my little logo on Canva for my room. It's so cute. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited about everything. Yeah, so when is your room going to be up? I ask because I want to have accountability, right? Because you got to say a date. You got to give a time to this to make it real. Because I'm now looking forward to it. So, Carmen, when yes. is Zoom going to come, like, on? When can I be in and listening? Oh, God. Putting me on the total freaking spot here. I got to come up with a good date. Before we get off, I'm going to tell you. I got to okay. get it. Oh, <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> Cool, cool. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So, Tanya, I'm checking back in with you. How we doing over there? You got you gonna, any questions? Are you going to put me on blast like that, too? <laughs> well, it's absolutely. absolutely. It's absolutely not blast when we're <laughs> helping, helping motivate me to just do it now. Yeah, absolutely. Now o'clock. Now o'clock. Now a clock. Oh my goodness. Um, I, I have my my toes in so many different like um things, so I need to. So I'm starting real estate investment with my husband, and I don't feel like I know anything about that yet. And we have a we have a seminar this weekend that we're working on. I have a bath and beauty brand that I am in the beginning stages of launching. Last night I was making butter, body butter with my husband. Um, That's I, so sexy. Shea butter is the best thing on the planet. <laughs> Especially when you can put all these lovely little fragrances in it and you can smell like pumpkin spice latte or Ooh, wow. blueberry muffins. Uh. Smells coffee. <laughs> I can smell it. Um, so, like, I know I'm going to have to have more than one club. One of them is going to be called the Gingered Rose because that's the name of my bath and beauty product line. And okay. then I have to figure out what I'm going to do in the way of uh, sort of a spirituality, 
spirituality life coaching because uh, I'm pagan and been, have been pagan for over 30 years. I have a I have a, a community that I am slowly building, and I want to teach. I think that um, you're definitely going to draw a crowd whenever you go faith based, right? Because everybody wants to be around their own. And so um, I'm not going to put you on spot because we're family. But I'll just ask you this. How far out are you from either of those rooms? I, I have to look at my calendar and figure out when I can schedule so that I can be consistent. Um, because running a household, uh, having a full daytime job and trying to manage three different businesses it's a lot and i found clubhouse a minute and a half ago and i'm you know (laughs) full speed ahead with with you know no time to actually plan anything um so i I need to do that that's honestly the first thing i need to do Um, so let me give you a little information i came by way of clubhouse this week And it was one of the men. I don't remember who I wish I did. But they told me and others that we should not be looking for life balance, work-life balance, but work-life inclusion. So what if you included your family in on it? Please, everybody's making body butters together. I promise you. (laughs) Right right there. Little man makes soap with me. It's great. Uh, It just, yeah. Yeah, so bring that on Clubhouse. You, you're that's so very valid. That's absolutely valid. I appreciate that, Jim. That's absolutely perfect. Yeah, yeah. No, that's you. You know, you already have the dynamics. It's gonna come across those little awkward times when he's like, "Mom, mom," it's self-explanatory. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you're organic, which is what's popping these days. Everybody wants organic content. Yeah. Absolutely, and and authentic. As long, as long as you're not trying to blow smoke up people's behinds, and and you're real about what you're saying, and you believe it, um, people will feel that. Yeah, it's that- gonna And now what you've done is created a whole nother entity on Clubhouse. I I haven't heard before. Has anybody heard on Clubhouse a family? On, on, like, a platform, on a stage, and, like, sharing how they're running a business as a family? Has anybody heard that? Not at all. That's a great idea. Look at that. You branded me. Look at that. That's fantastic. I love it. I haven't you. heard of that, but, oh, man, you go, that, that, that's considered as stolen now. Right? <laughs> right? Like, I, I, I am respectfully going to take that beautiful advice you just gave me and run. <laughs> It's yours, love. I'm so happy to be a part of your success story. Hi, Moji. Moji, are you there, my love? No? Okay, I'll come back to you. Hey, babe, how are you doing? Have you worked yourself out of your little um, breakdown yet? It's been a little while since he walked out the door. Oh, I'm sorry. You talking to me, Queen? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been outside in my garden, <laughs> looking at the birds and the and the butterflies. Oh, I'm doing great. We had a really good rain yesterday, so you know when after the rain is, and I'm sure Queen Ursula can attest to this because she has a garden. It's uh, it's so beautiful. It's like it's like a Sunday morning when you go out after a really bad storm. So it's mm-hmm. really beautiful outside. Even though I can't figure out how the storm moved my gigantic heavy umbrella, I was shocked by that. It moved it a couple of feet, <laughs> but other than that, it looks great. <laughs> wow, that happened to my sister. She lives in Iowa, and it was around the Fourth of July. I was visiting. And it picked up her umbrella. And um, it was right before the 4th of July because we was entertaining. And that happened to her. So, I, I mean, I guess Mother Nature can do whatever she will wants to. I know that's right. <laughs> that's one reason my son, he was supposed to leave yesterday, but it was the weather was so horrific. You know, it was off and on. I said, you know, let's just hang here. He decided to hang here for a while. So, then went out with his friends and had fun at the movies. 
And I said I hate to burst your bubble. Remember when we went to see um uh, we went to see uh, Suicide Squad 2.0 because that's what what he wanted to see. And so he came home yesterday. I said, "Well, I've got some good news and bad news." He's like, "What?" I said, "We sure had fun at the movies, but we could have stayed home and watched it on HBO because it, it it really is there for us to watch." She was like, "Are you kidding?" <laughs> I oh. said, "Yeah, but you can watch the replay." <laughs> <laughs> I was traumatized. It was too bloody and gory for me. <laughs> it was um, so yeah. I can give you a little. When when I started to get like really scared, and uh, the last movie I saw, I think it was The Conjuring. It was starting to hit me too much, right? I was Which one, one, two, or three? I'm a fan of that that movie, but three. I'm scared I, all the time. <laughs> when the daughter killed the uh, the, the father. Oh, I haven't seen three yet, but I am going to see it. Ooh, I definitely want to see it. Oh, no, no, no. You didn't spoil anything. I saw the previews. I need something happen to the husband. Okay, okay. So this is what I think. When it gets too gory for me and it's hitting too much, I, I say to myself, man, the special effects is awesome. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but it was just so much. They did a lot of extra. I'm like, oh, it's too, it's too gory. And it reminded me of Horror Story. I was like, no. <laughs> but I got me a little drink. I went and told him to put a splash of rum because I'm not a drinker. I'm one of these pretender drinkers. I, I play with it. So I tell him, give me all the fruitiness and stuff I don't need, and then put a little splash of something in there. He's like, I'll put a splash of rum because it won't hit you too hard. That got me really relaxed. And I was like, okay, I think I can stomach the, the gory <laughs> now. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. And I, I was listening to what you were saying to Queen Tanya over there, uh, Tanya, excuse me, about um, Tanya. Yes, I see it. My, I don't have my, my reading glasses on. Um, about the family affair and and you know what those shows tv shows and youtube channels that i see where families involved are the most successful channels do you so hear I that think you? yes queen i'm listening very closely <laughs> and you know why i follow them because my kids i'm an empty nester my kids are grown and gone and i want to relive that so you definitely have an audience and even someone like me would come in there because i'm like i miss my family let me go look at her family. Because I wanted to tell you early, I'm feeling that hair. I love your blue hair. <laughs> cool. Thank you. My daughter does it for me. That's amazing. Nice. That's a demographic. The empty nesters. Look at that. I'm not yeah. I was watching the show. What's the one? Uh, makers, uh, something makers show where they build things. And it's a family show. I'm obsessed with that show because they can build anything. And I know it's a family show, but I love it. I just, oh, I love family shows. So thank you for that. And I know because it's a family affair, I could come in there without worrying about certain things being dropped off the mic. I don't have to protect my soul and my spirit or, or get cleansed on my way out. So. <laughs> I need to warn you about my teenager. He doesn't know how to watch his mouth. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. They off limits. We already know about the, the young ones. You know, I'm talking about the grown people that be talking about. <laughs> oh man absolutely uh, my grown self can be a little ridiculous sometimes so I, I, I try to watch my P's and Q's when other people are, can actually hear me and uh, keep the F-bombs to myself as much as possible <laughs> oh, I can handle that it's the clothing at least you're keeping your clothes on I, t I told them last night I said I've been traumatized going into the hallway into these rooms like where y'all clothes at I didn't know you could take off clothes on your little emoji. I didn't know that was even possible. <laughs> yes, it's something. It's, it's trauma. Don't come in here on a Friday night in the wee hours of the morning. We don't belong. I love okay. having a 10K right. card. Just come straight to the 10K card. Don't wander the halls and the streets and have Sean or somebody snatch you up and say, get out of there. Get back over here. You know ain't nothing good out on the street. <laughs> ain't it? Like our mom, ain't morning. nothing open after 10 o'clock but legs. When you going? <laughs> Oh my! You're absolutely right. One time I did uh, try to do it on a Saturday night, and um, the the subject matters of the rooms, I just was like, "Well, let me go to bed." Then, like <laughs> something might like right. my dreams more so than in these uh, rooms. So let me go to sleep. Oh man! They be trying. They be trying to bring that Fifty Shades or whatever the color is to life, and I was like, "Uh uh, <laughs> no, I didn't watch that." Because people are like, you didn't watch that? I was like, no, I didn't want to be traumatized. Somebody told me he hit the girl. And the moment you hit her, you don't lost me. I want to come through the screen and beat you. What Did you 
I'm going to ask for your son if um, Sean can add a tracker to our 10K cards. <laughs> he would track me too. If he now, knew, Melissa, I went to know the you. party. Melissa, if you would be the one to think about that. I'm sitting in, sitting back here trying to figure out, okay, so how could we turn this whole thing into something? And there you go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Add it to the 10K card. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't be tracking me down eight When you hang around, Sean, you know how to segue. My son said that mom, that card is cool as heck. He said that reminds me of an NFT card. I said, doesn't it? He said, is it tied to the blockchain? I said, oh, Sean's really gonna like you. <laughs> so yeah, my son's into all of that. He said, well, I need to have a conversation with Greg first. So Greg had called me because we were supposed to talk about something with Clubhouse. Next thing I know. My son says, Mom, do you mind? He takes my phone. He and Greg go off and have a whole conversation. I haven't talked to Greg yet. <laughs> so, yeah, they're talking technology. So, you know, I love it that my children watch me and, and learn from me. And now they're able to teach me some things. So, I, they're, you know, this is like a Queen Tanya would say. This is a family affair. You know, I want my family involved in all this. Um, it's so funny you should say that because I, I have mentioned a couple of times I was visiting with my daughter last week and um, <laughs> she's going to come in next month. She likes the 10K car, but she's positioning some things. But shameless plug, she is fly girl manifesting on YouTube. That girl's off the chain. And um, when she gets a hold of this 10K card, it's going to be something else. Oh, I love it. I love oh, and, it. and the reason the reason I said that is is because you said something about children watching you. One of the things she said to me, because I used to be in sales, she said, Ma, we couldn't hang around you as much as we did without learning something. And so, yeah, I'm good, but, I, you know, I started with what you taught us. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes, Queen Tan. It isn't the purpose of all of it, like everything, to leave a better generational um, legacy for our children. Like everything that we do, it, it's about making their life easier than ours was, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So the only way to do that is to actually get them involved so they see what you're doing. Mistakes, warts and all, like they need to see that it's not going to be easy every day and they need to see how to navigate challenges and how to do all of that kind of stuff and it's okay to fail it's the I only think you just got your description to your room tanya i'm sorry i think that's your description for your room look at you yeah probably like it makes sense i i, I think we're going to call it the large and family business and and the descriptor is going to be how, how to navigate running life and businesses while teaching your children the important things or something along those lines. Absolutely, there it go. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about bam. I signed up. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. I need to go, I need to take my butt and put myself in one of their groups and listen to figure out what all that is about because I don't know. I signed up though. Just trust trust and believe now you're protected. No matter what your um, business interests are, your goals are, there's someone that's going to be aligned to your purpose. Basically, that's that's bam. Um, whatever it is that you're trying to do. I said the same thing. Yeah. I found my 10K card yesterday. I found bam yesterday afternoon. I'm walking around like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm doing it. So. <laughs> yeah. That's what you've done for yourself. And it's just so so nice to hear that you're throwing yourself in because when you, I, I, I say this a lot, you can always tell when somebody is a boss and when they're not. When you hear a good opportunity, you're supposed to be able to discern that within, I believe they said um, 30 seconds. That's, yep. the investor should be able to discern whether this is a good investment in 30 seconds, right? You just said that you've been a part of Clubhouse and joined these groups 
all in a day. That says a lot about you, which is why on the back channel I called you boss lady because you make your decisions on the fly that it's going to be positioning you. And it's like you knew it. You recognized it right off the bat. And that is where a lot of people stop, right? They hear the yeah. same information we hear, and they stop right there because fear creeps in or doubt uh, creeps in or them being done wrong in the past creep in and cripples them from moving forward. And so the difference between bosses and people that experience life uh, differently than the others is that the others are scared. Oh, no. I, I'm totally terrified, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I, and and that, that, I mean, I, I'm, I'm 51. I'm a cancer survivor. I'm grateful for every day I get to wake up. Nothing makes you more uh, grateful uh, about what you have here than the real prospect of not having it anymore. Wow. I know that to be true, but can you go in and lean in a little bit more? Because now I understand why you take your life by the balls. Can you just lean in a little bit more? Because I know that connection. I saw my grandmother and my mom. My mom has since transitioned, and I know what you're describing. So go, not personally, but watching it in real time. Can you please tell us what you mean when you say that? What, what I mean when I say that is uh, you're sitting in a doctor's office and the doctor tells you that you have uterine cancer and, and you're so special that you have a, a cancer that less than 5% happens. And not, to, not only do you have one cancer, but you have two. When they took my uterus out, does anybody know how much a uterus is supposed to weigh? Four or five ounces. When they took my uterus out, it was 10 pounds of cancer. And um, they took out some lymph so nodes. You oh, yeah. So you telling me that you're a whole manifestation of God's promise? Are you Absolutely. telling me that you're a miracle? Absolutely. Oh. Everybody is. Oh, my goodness. And so I spent the next year going through chemo and radiation. And I, I, I walked around the house. With a, with a with a four four inch stuffed animal, and uh, he was my little healing papa, and he he went with me everywhere for five years. He went to all my doctor's appointments. He went to chemo. He went to radiation. He went to dinner and flirted with 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 the servers. He went everywhere with me for five years. I couldn't go anywhere without him. I I don't have to take him everywhere anymore. But every time I go to a gynecology appointment, he comes with me. Whenever I go get a mammo, he comes with me. They took out five lymph nodes, and all of that came back negative. And after five years, they tell you that you're, you're, you're cured, right, or whatever, and that you get to go back and be part of the rest of the world as the normal cancer rates. Does anybody know what those are? One in three women and one in two men will have some form of cancer before they die. And they tell you, don't switch up a thing. Yeah, you can eat anything you want. Yeah, 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 continue your life just the way you were before this ever happened. Yeah, people, pe people, people do, though. So what, what I say about being grateful for being able to, like, nothing questions your faith, like walking through a dark alley like that. And I'm going to say something really crazy now. I am grateful that I did get diagnosed. I'm grateful that they caught it when they did. I was a completely different person before the cancer. I was selfish. I was self-absorbed. I wasn't, I wasn't teaching others. I was, you know, I received not that. where I am now. I received that, sister. I promise you. And thank you for sharing your walk. And for being transparent like that to say, hey, that needed to pause me in life because the path I was on was not necessarily a good one. And so that's, that's what we mean when we say God can turn everything around for his good. You know what I mean? And yeah. so hearing you say that lets me know that even cancer, and I just want you to know because I know how cancer is set up, 
for your uterus to be 10 pounds and your lymph nodes not to have any cancer in it, I want you to understand the blessing in that. Well, you I do. Know, I mean, this, please tell this story. Please somehow incorporate that into your your spill, your 30, I don't know how you're going to do it, your three-minute pitch, your elevated pitch, I don't know. But people need to know where you came from to understand why you are the way you are. That's that's your superpower right there. Yeah, I, I, I need to sit down and write the book like I've been told. Okay, <laughs> okay. so this, this is where I come in. Um, that is exactly what I do. Another young lady will have her book um, released within the next 30 days, and it's called Living Life as Intended. And she's a dark-skinned black woman that got skin cancer. And she tells that story and how she copes with living uh, with that information every day and still living to the fullest. So I always say, your story doesn't have to be a huge story, but it needs to be told. And um, she's coming out in a, a, one of the series that I have that's called A Tiny Book, which means if it's only about that, that's enough because it may save somebody's life. Yeah. I'm a, well, and I'm done. No, you're not, neither. You're not going to tease us like that, Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Tease you like that. This book stuff. Tell us more about the book. Well, I'm, I'm a publisher and a legacy writer, which means that I'm really on a mission to get people to tell their stories in one form or another. And my tagline or motto is, I'm CEO of Sula Chu, and we make old, new, and everything we do. In that, we capture, preserve, and present legacy information in any form. We take all of your hard-earned experiences and turn them into books, legacy walls, live performances, or videos. So... How and 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 what I do is I encourage people. Like my latest book is called "Create a Book in a Weekend," and that's because people have stories that are sitting on the shelf, either in their heads or are literally on the shelf, and they've got, forgotten about them. I'm encouraging them to pull them out. Take a weekend, go get it, bring it to me, and let's 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 transform it into something that can be useful either because it's complete in and of itself or it can be made available for someone as a source material for future research whatever but you Thank don't you. need to take i have i have a young lady that's sitting with me it's my girlfriend her name is Brittany, and she's telling me no right now but i'm happy that success expounded on that because inside this young lady is several books and so i i'm sitting over here telling her that's why you got to check into clubhouse She's been listening to us and enjoying it. And so you say that, and she's like, that's me. I'm like, I know. And she's looking at me like I'm going to get you sucker. <laughs> but the reason why I'm doing this is because if nobody calls us out um, and make us better in doing so, then we're doing each other a disservice. And you can go ahead and, and wallow in your comfort, your contentment, and never comes out, you know, uh, from that. So um, I want to thank you for saying that. I'm going to connect you both. Thank you and for both pulling it out. Hey, hi, Brittany. <laughs> Hello. Thank you so much. I am sitting up here looking at Kenyatta like I am going to get you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, when, when you said that, I definitely was like, I need to connect with her because I call myself like a serial journal if you will, if that's even a word, for lack of better words, I journal. And I've been journaling since forever. Um, as a child, it was songs. And then, you know, as I grew older, it became just journaling about things that I go through and, you know, navigating life and things of that nature. And so um, I never thought about the concept of creating a book in a weekend. When I think about writing a book, yeah, and so that struck a chord because for me, when I think of a book, I think it's something that takes years, you know what I mean? But um, I'm definitely interested in connecting with you, so thank you for sharing that. Please do, because that's a lot of wisdom, and that, that is actually how I got started to some degree. I, I did scrapbooks and journals, and I went back to my college reunion, and I had one of those um, journals in my hand, and I was able to bring back what took place years ago and people have forgotten and, and their lives have turned in 
the sound bites. Well, no, I had the details. And just because of my nature, I was recording positive things. So I was bringing back positive memories that people wanted to hear about. So, you know, you have a treasure that is just sitting there waiting for the world, you know? So I have two quick questions. For somebody who absolutely does not like to write, how do I how do I go about doing that? Well, the secret sauce is we get on a Zoom call, you tell me your story. That's how this girl's book was written. All right. I'm going to DM you. And the second is what you said, legacy wall. What is that? What I do is that for, uh, okay, buildings, schools, places like that. that, that okay. Um, there's a school that's named after Thomas Edison. And someone walked up to that school and, and I said, this is what I do. I said, for instance, Thomas Edison. The person looked at me and said, huh? I said, Thomas Edison. People, people have no clue when they will walk up to buildings who those people are. And those people, whether you like them or not, have lived some incredible lives and their, their stories need to be told. And the people that grace those buildings need to, to, to learn about it. So what I do is put that information on a physical wall that in the largest one is like 10 by 30 feet. <laughs> and it tells the story of the person, the building, the people that came through there, and even some of the people that are still there that's creating a legacy for tomorrow. So I, I and I always have a subliminal message that is positive. On one wall, it says you can do it. Another wall, it says it has a star and it has the word you in it. So my my concept is educate as you decorate. That's because that wall can be seen by everybody, every time, every day, every time they walk by. That's absolutely tremendous. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, you guys, um, somebody just stepped into the room and she got to go real soon. So, hi, Marsha. Hi. How are you, my love? I'm good. How's everyone today? Everyone is fine. So, we're just sitting here brainstorming on rooms and how we can get our um, legacy across. Um, and it's also that we can take advantage of the sponsorships that's afforded to us through Sean 10K cards himself. And so I wanted to know, um, have you given any thought to a room that you yourself want to host? Not yet. Um, the other night I was kind of um, surprised with, with Sean um, introducing me to, to, you know, to being able to host a room. But I have not been able to kind of identify I'm thinking maybe something holistico. That's what I have, you know, something that's holistically centered uh, about, about, you know, health, but that's another um, passion of mine. So that, that was my immediate thought. But I haven't, um, you know, made up my mind about that yet. So you told me a lot of things. We've had conversations outside of this room, and I never knew that about you. But when asked, what would be the room and how would you go about it? That's what you cite. So that's that's it, babe. That's it right there. Right. Yeah, you got to go forth with that. You said it with so much enthusiasm. It's a passion outside of what you do for a living. And, like, that was the first thing that came to mind. Indeed, indeed. So that's definitely, that's definitely on, uh, taking the number one
Hi. So, do you have any questions? Well, to be honest, um, I just saw the title of the room. Um, I just wanted to come and sit here and see what everybody was talking about. So, um, I, are you familiar with it? Are you familiar with the 10K card? I'm not in any shape at all. Don't know anything about it. First off, I love, love, love your accent and your tone. Like, both of them are working so nice together. You can put someone to sleep with that voice. It's so beautiful and serene. So, um, that's my compliment to you. But, um, where are you from right now? I'm from the UK. And you, where are you located? In the UK. Okay, so I'm about to send you my business card. Is that okay? Sure, sure. Okay. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to send her over it, um, the card. So if, if you needed to give your um, business card back to me, how would you do it? To be honest, um, when I first joined Clubhouse, it was, I wasn't even thinking, I was just thinking it was just an app where people talked. I wasn't aware of anything. Uh, oh, so you don't know that you can business. make money. So, Amanda, you don't even know that you can make money on here, huh? I've heard people talk about it, but I don't know anything about it. There's no point in acting like I know when I don't know anything. Absolutely, absolutely. So, listen, you can monetize your businesses, your gifts, your strength right here, right now. So, right now, tell us, what do you monetize? What do you offer? What services would we be able to purchase from Amanda? Okay, well, I do have, I am the co-author of a book. Um, that's one of my strengths. And also, um, I do write poetry, so I'm not too sure exactly how I would monetize. I mean, obviously, I know about the book, but um, I do write poetry. So I'm, I am a novice in this area. Okay, not that's in fine. writing poet, not in writing poetry, just in this group. Okay, and so um, have you ever thought about having your work published? Yes, um, I, as I said, I'm a co-author in, a, in um, an anthology book, and also I'm in the process of getting my um, writings together to get it published because uh, sometime last year I got fed up of just having um, books and things just in my room just for me to reminisce about by myself and a lot of people when they hear they say they're inspired so if it inspires me and somebody else says it inspires them well um, that's a good mix. Okay well we have Ursula she's on stage and I'll let her take this and then I'll pop back in after you guys write the book and tell you how you can promote with the 10K card. How does that sound? Sounds wonderful. <laughs> um, just to let you know, a couple of things. When you say you, you write poetry, well, poetry is art. Um, poetry. So you can turn that into something that can be so just one. And because people put those things on, the, on their wall every day. They can be turned into um, postcards. They can greeting cards and what have you. But I got started doing just what you did. <clears throat> I wrote the life lessons learned at my grandmother's feet. And I thought I was writing short stories, but they came out poetic. And my first book is a book of historical life lessons that are poem. And that is how I got started. Everything else pivoted from there. Once I wrote the and, and and when you said inspired by people, I went to a Toastmasters meeting and I read them for the first time and they were so happy with them. They told me I needed to publish them. Well, I had no idea what to do with that. So I went to a book a bookstore owner who happens to be a friend and we talked and talked and talked and talked and talked. And finally she said, Ursula, it's not how many lives you touch but that you touch lives. And that was all I needed. So I put my book out for me, 
And for that one person that could be inspired by it. Now, a whole lot more been inspired by it than that. But that's what, that, that is what got me to do it. Sometimes it's just for the sake of making sure that your creativity doesn't go poof or in the garbage. Share it with the next generation. Your children may not care, but your grandchildren would. So um, those are just a couple of motivations. Um, and what I was just sharing earlier is that you can pull those things together pretty quickly. I bet right now, between now and Monday, you can go through your home and pull out enough to go in a book. And Sulu 2 Publishing would be interested in it. We could help you make that dream come true. I'm Ursula, and back to you, Kenyatta. Or oh, actually, yeah, with Kenyatta. So Amanda, so now the book is done, right? And um, along with your other works, now you can bring it to the masses. And so that's what you can use Clubhouse for. You know, when people ask, what do you do? You can tell them what you have. And then if they want it, then you can go ahead and put it and attach it to your car, similar to the one that I sent to you in your back channel. Can you go to your back channel and um, look at the, the card that I just sent you? see it? Amanda, do you see the card? Okay, I'm talking away to you, real, not realizing I'm on mute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you say? I'm sorry, I was saying that that is so cool. I didn't realize that you could do a business card like that. And I was just looking at all of it and saying, yeah, that's great. Not realizing I was just talking to myself. <laughs> that's okay, my love. Well, that's a digital card that 10K hosts, and that's the room that you're in right now. And this is like a support group for those junkies that love the 10K card. We come here to, you know, bounce ideas off of one another. We come here to uplift one another on how to use it. And we talk about, you know, all the opportunities that this card, this, this singular card, um, affords us, which is uh, sponsorship for other partnering companies that um, give uh, incentives when you share the information like I just shared with you. And so you can sit back and enjoy yourself. I'm going to send you um, some links so that you can come and be a part of us and the family. And um, actually, you already are. You don't even need to purchase it. But the car really does sell itself. So um, I want you to, to watch um, why we all joined the 10K uh, digital car in the first place. So um, I'll go last. Marsha, before you go, would you like to tell Amanda why you chose to go with the digital card that's called 10K? Um, um, actually, uh, Amanda, I chose the 10K card because of uh, Kariyana's, uh, you know, her testimony like this card, and also Sean was uh, the host of the 10K card. His presentation was phenomenal. And once I actually had to uh, take a look at the card, it has an author. It was immediately a number. Any business person, um, especially a business person, it, it's a must have. So that's why I chose the card. But Kenyatta, actually, she still the deal for me uh, when I was in the room that Sunday was to everyone uh, discuss the benefits uh, of having a charity card. So thank you so much. I did the same thing just now, Mandy. I just, I was talking without even having my mic on. But thank you, um, Marsha, for that. Um, let's go with you, Tanya. Why did you choose to indulge the 10K card? Tanya, are you there? Okay, Ursula, you, and then I'll go, and hopefully Tanya can come back. 
Um, <clears throat> well, one of the things, just based on what you heard today, there are a lot of things that I do and that my company does. And with my website, what I was finding is that people would go and they'd have a deer in the headlights look because it's like, okay, now what do I do? And um, the card one is very easy to, easy to use and to respond to any interest that a person has. And I can direct them to where I want them to go. Now, I have to admit, I'm still getting used to making that a normal part of the process. Like right now, what what's going through my head is every time someone says, I want to connect with you, what I should be saying is Ursula K. No, that's my, <laughs> Ursula 10 K dot com and go to my website. It's the first link on the left. And if you want to be a part of a free um, strategy session, then it, you can you can sign up for that on the card too. Now, one just happened last night. I have to reschedule, but at least that's the place you go when you know when uh, and and you'll know when the next one comes up because I'll be changing that tonight. So I, you know, we have to. It, it's a wonderful thing to help us get organized, and that's the state that I'm in right now. That is the process that I'm going through, setting up different systems because I'm growing. I mean. I apparently have found the secret sauce because people are coming to me and they're happy when they leave. So they, they get that book done. Um, I'm Ursula and I'm complete. Thank you so much for all the information. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to uh, be rude from the other. No, no, go ahead, Mandy. I'm here for you. I'm here for no. you. You're the newbie. Welcome. Welcome. As, as long as you don't call me Mandy, then we'll get on great. Okay, Amanda. I'm sorry. Amanda. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I have a lot of friends, and so I, I apologize. No, it's it's fine. It's just I that was when I was a little child. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, we grown. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'm you grown. Say I'm a grown woman like Beyonce. I got you. I got yes. you. Yes, and I've passed that big five zero. So yeah, I'm grown. Yeah. Okay, I apologize, but go ahead. You was about to say something. Yeah, I was going to say um, thank you so much for all the information um, because I'll just have a look later. I do have, my mentor is a publisher and she does have a, a publishing um, company. Um, so but I will just look at all the pros and cons and see um, where I'm going to put, because this does sound very interesting. Um, I'm going to just have to have a look and see if it's something that we can work together with because that's what it's about. It's about networking and it's about, as you said, homing your skills. So I really appreciate you taking the time to even speak to me today. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Are you the mic? So, Amanda, you said that your friend is a publisher? Yes, ma'am, my mentor. Okay, so when you go to your mentor, tell her that Ursula sent you. I'm not about trying to get someone away from someone else because if you're comfortable with her, that's a beautiful thing. You all can you all can share this success. So if she is too busy, then that's a different thing. But for right now, I totally understand working with someone that you you know, like, and trust. And it, it's not that I don't trust everybody in here, but um, I. It's somebody I've been working with for about 20 years, not just on the books, but we used to travel for ministry um, around the, the globe. So that's why when she started the publishing school or house, then that's why I kind of joined there. But I'm still very interested in um, just hearing somebody else because sometimes we may think that we have something good and then other people, when they hear it, they may not see it as good as our friends and how we see it so that's why i like what i've had so far okay thank you i love mike that's more than fair that's more than fair um and so let's see hi nicole how are you hi there hi uh, thank you this is my first time in this room as well and i um 
very very new i don't know what 10 i was trying to listen in to what 10k cards meant if you would be so kind to just explain it one more time is that okay absolutely Please. it is absolutely so a gentleman by the name of sean lashley thought it would be a great idea to put together a digital card that will encompass um, all of your business links, so LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, anything else that you can dream, all on the digital card that will enable you to um, to share your card with people around the world, just like I shared with Amanda, and it uh, enables you to um, share with the masses, right? Because maybe you take out 20 cards a day, but you needed 50, actually. So it allows you to do that. Um, it also allows you to do cool things like link up with other businesses like Payment and BAM Media. I mean, BAM um, and BM. What is the acronyms for that? Um, B, I, I, it escapes me right now, but I'll get it for you. Basically, all these cool companies that are cutting edge rivals to the companies that we already use. And um, it kind of makes life easier when you have to introduce yourself to someone and they have a split second to decide whether or not to do business with you. You're going to be perceived as um, knowledgeable. You're going to be perceived as you're going to be perceived as um, cutting edge because, after all, not everybody has the digital card. And so this owner, Sean, he has decided to forego doing the marketing um, strategy most companies do when they have a genius product and cut it out and go straight to the consumer and then allow us then to talk like this and partake in the uh, partnership. Does that sound like, does that sound intriguing to you? Very intriguing and very exciting. Okay, I'm going to send you over my card right now. Hold on a second so you can take a uh, look at it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and, and do you want me to introduce myself? Or? Yes, go ahead. Go for it. Of course. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm still trying to find my niche. So I've been sort of switching in between health being coach and but today I am um, so so I write poems as well, but I'm a I think today I'm a definitely a self portrait coach. And I wrote this book called A Broken Spirit Self Portrait Men. So my my quote it's a little short, short poem that I wrote. It says, I speak to inspire. I write to fulfill my passion and desire. And I help others to ignite their inside fire. I help individuals learn to move away from their self-limited and reclusive lifestyle to be resourceful and resilient through SMS, which is strategic mindset shift, to grow from I can't to I can't. So let me unpack you and build you back up again to fulfill your unique purpose. I help them unlock and unleash the greatness inside to succeed through changing their perspectives, to shift their mindset from failure to fulfillment, and to adopt good habits to impact and improve their health and well-being to make a difference and align with their purpose. I help individuals mend or repair their self-portrait from low self-esteem, inferiority complex, and self-sabotaging to be successful and self-disciplined. I help individuals talk about and take action to push through, break through adversity, to soar, to be fruitful, to thrive and flourish in a pandemic and beyond. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that, Nicole, and you're so inspiring with that background. That is phenomenal. So, Tanya, could you tell Nicole um, yet again? I know this. This is this is what we do for one another. We're hooking her up to some game right now and letting her know why we love on the 10K car so much. Could you go ahead and tell her why you are a new 10K car holder? 
Sure. Hi, Nicole. My name is Tanya. Interestingly enough, my sister's name is Nicole. Hello. I just want to tell you that uh, what you just said was very inspiring. Um, it's important work. Absolutely. Uh, the, the pandemic has really caused a lot of uh, anxiety for people, unsurety. And so the, the things that you're doing is absolutely impactful. It's excellent. Um, I'm going to go ahead and answer Kenyatta's uh, query to me, which is uh, I, I found out about 10K cards yesterday. I saw it and I knew immediately that I had to have it. And then I spent like 15, 20 minutes hemming and hawing on whether or not I was going to spend the extra $200 to go ahead and get the uh, affiliate. It's stupid not to, in my opinion. Uh, it just makes so much sense because I'm going to talk about and promote these cards because they're fantastic. You can put everything. You were talking about how you're transitioning from one thing to another. You can put all of that in there. You don't have to reprint your business card. You don't have to find your business card. You don't have to have 14 boxes for all 14 of your businesses. You have one thing. And anytime something on it changes, it changes for the contact because it's right there. It's so beautiful. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So how, so how do I sign up for it? Is it just the information that Kenyatta sent me? Yes. So you go to the corner of the card and it'll say, order your own 10K card. And so you can you can click on that and then choose whether you want the introductory style or the premium style. The premium style would allow you to enjoy the comfort of the cards and the possibility of earning money when you share your card and somebody wants to do exactly what you're doing. So... Um, it allows you to be incentivized for you coming on, um, bringing somebody aboard. Okay, okay, thank you. I'll look at it. Thank you. I've, I've been skimming, scanning through it already. Thank you. Absolutely. If you need any help, I'm right here, okay? Sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Monica, I'm happy that you're back because just as I was about to um, bring you um, up so that we can talk, you left. And so I'm happy that you're back, my love. How are you today? Hi, thank you. I'm doing fantastic. I am multitasking. I'm working and getting ready to get on another Zoom call. So thank you for having me back. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Do you have a 10K card? I do. I got mine yesterday. I'm so excited. Okay, tell me how you plan, why you got it, how you plan on using it, and what we can do to help uh, bridge that learning gap. Um, I got it because now we're in the age of the digital world, and it just makes so much sense. Everybody is tapping and going with cards, and opposed to having a paper card that, you know, you're handing somebody is going to end up on their dashboard or underneath the car seat or the bottom of your purse. Uh, it's just more convenient to have the 10K card. And it's just a brilliant idea that Sean came up with. Oh, okay. So what is it that you need help with as a new 10 card K holder? If any? Yes, I'm glad you asked that. So, unfortunately, my website is, something happened to it, so they're on the back end trying to fix it uh, with uh, through GoDaddy's where we have our website. But anyways, when I was on there, um, ay, 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 trying to see how I can make extra money, make more money. But, excuse so, me, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're coming in at a good time because up until last, we didn't have this opportunity in front of us. We are partnering with other businesses that uh, people with 10K cards use, like payment, so that we can accept payment quite like um, PayPal does. And um, we can access uh, incentives from a gentleman that has a, a debt. What does he call it now? 
cancellation. I guess he's a debt cancellation expert. Okay. Yeah. So we got um, a sponsorship going with him. And basically the opportunities for you to be able to make money from it, from that standpoint, from a uh, sponsorship uh, standpoint, is you have five to six opportunities but it's going to grow because Sean knows a lot of people before it's all said and done. I think that particular program will have host probably 10 opportunities for you. And then with your own personal business, if you don't mind talking about, you know, what you want to tackle a little bit, I can help brainstorm. We do a lot of that. Don't we, you guys, we brainstorm and think about, uh, ways that we can implement it in each other business and so that's why this room was even created to support one another so if you can tell me a little bit about like what you're trying to do what you're trying to convey we'll come up with something <laughs> i greatly appreciate that my husband and i have a renovation company we renovate homes um mobile homes as well as uh, duplexes um any type of residential dwelling um, and we do all interior finishing. So whether it's and, and additions as well. So you you have a staging company? Yes, somewhat. Um, we stage with existing pieces when when um, some of our clients are ready to when they sell their home. Mm -hmm. I teach them how to declutter and stage their homes for selling. And so that is three things that can be in your on your card right there. One for decluttering, one for reorganization, and one for uh, redesign. And then the other, um, there's another link for the properties that you guys, you know, pick up, sell, you know, um, Airbnb, whatever you have going on. You can create different links for each thing that you do so that people can pick a la carte what service they want from you. You can right. do consultations. You can do scheduling all from that digital card. Wow. Mm-hmm. It really is amazing. Yes, indeed. Wow, that's awesome. Absolutely. And so um, what we do now is just educate one another on how we can take advantage of all these other opportunities that supported to us, like... Um, uh, let, let me tell you. Actually, I don't have to tell you. I can send this over to you, too. Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> make make your, your, your uh, what do you call that, journey a little bit easier. There so you go. go. I appreciate you. Oh, I appreciate you guys. Let's see. The sponsorship business card. Okay. I'm going to send this over to you, too, Amanda. Is that okay? Sure. Sorry, I was doing a message in the back channel, but that's fine. Both of you ladies should have that inside of your back channel. Does anyone else need the sponsorship um, card sent to them? Okay. Excuse me, Kenyatta, you know, when you say back channel, that's the up arrow to the right, correct? Yes. Yes, it okay. is. Okay. Nothing's there yet. It looked like a little paper airplane. Or a Christmas tree. <laughs> Do I click on your name? No, add chat to member. No, wait, hold on. Okay, let's see. I'm sending it over again. Okay, thank you. Kenyatta, is it something I already have or should I see it too? Oh, I just got it. Thank you. Yep. You too, Sonia. It just thank came across. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh-huh. So we got Be a Bam e-commerce boss. 
that's one. You guys um, either gonna purchase or already have purchased the 10K card, then the pill method is the debt eliminator specialist, and then register with payment to accept invoice and payments, expense tracking, and more. So it knocks out your use of PayPal, QuickBooks, and a few other things that you might need for your business to, to further it and save a little money. Because I don't know about you guys, but those subscriptions add up quickly. Right. And so um, so you, you got that going. And then uh, MBN, Networking to Prosper, you have that as an option. And then um, so this is how it looks. And this goes really, really well with um, rooms that you um, have created, like this one that we're talking on. Uh -huh. And so, um, yeah, it goes hand in hand pretty much. And so it uh, affords you, uh, a, how can I say this, an extra stream of income you did not anticipate on. Right. Now, um, if you don't mind me asking, be a BAM e-commerce boss goes hand in hand with, uh -huh. with our ten with our it goes hand in hand with our ten K card, correct? Absolutely it does. Okay. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, you'll be cutting yourself out of a um a great opportunity if you try to do it any other way. Okay. And so you wanna if you're gonna have it, you might as well maximize the potential of you returning a nice, you know, incentivized uh, amount. That's what makes this so awesome. I can tell you, you guys, that um, I I have sought out for sponsors before. And I have, I mean, it made so much sense. If I'm having a table mingles party, surely you will want whatever that, you know, singles will want there, whether it be alcohol or food, like sponsor the event, you know? And they, they would turn me down, you know? And uh, people are frugal and they don't understand business marketing and things like that at mom and pop places but here you actually have an opportunity it's already done for you you don't have to do anything you have to choose them instead of the other way around right i have to jump on a zoom meeting real quick but i'll be back okay 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 thank you I'm just orchestrating the picking up of my nephew so that I can stay on the phone with you guys. And as a matter of fact, let me see. Anybody else doing the school shuffle, having to balance everything and kids too? Luckily for me, my child is still at home, but he's going to have to go back this semester, this upcoming semester. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I'm at it. It's a labor of love. I'm, I'm just auntie, and I find myself have, having to do this. But I do it all out of love. I love my babies. It's important. Education is totally, the right education is, is where it's at. Absolutely. I'm just a little concerned about the Delta, but we don't even want to go there. <laughs> you know, um, there's a lot of rooms that you can go and empower yourself. So what they don't tell you is you can build your immune system up. And there's some people in particular I want you guys to follow. Um, this one doctor in particular, let me find her name. I screenshot... Um, her while she was in the room i want you guys to follow her because her and her husband has done research um last year and got pushback from it but um she basically unearthed some stuff that i think you you might be interested in and i'll just say that because these days you got to be politically correct about that yes you do you don't want to overtly offend people and that's awful, right? We should be able, I mean, America has done it again, successfully divided us yet again. And the fact that I don't feel free to talk about, you know, and share the information, it's just, it's just awful. So what I'll do is put you in way of the expert that can articulate it in a way I never could anyway. So thank you. Absolutely. I, 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 I very how 
this was handled, this absolutely should not become have become a political nonsense three ring circus. It really should have been just about facts and allowing people to make choices for their own bodies. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I'm in agreement. I'm in agreement. Okay, so you guys, if you're interested in the, the doctor that did research and is saying that they're not picking up her research that was supported by other people around the world independently doing their own research, they all came up with the same thing on how to combat this, then her name is Dr. Christine Bishari, MD, on Clubhouse. You spell her name, Christine, like you normally would, and Bashara is B-I-S-A, I mean, S-H-A-R-A, and then M-D. She has a black and white picture of herself. Um, let me know if you guys want me to shoot that over, because maybe the drive-in or anything, something like that, let me know, but that's who you want to follow, and you want to probably even back channel her and ask her what what should you be taking to de, uh to you know have a defense for you and your family thank you yeah you brought it up i had to do what i supposed to do with that you know <laughs> i i cannot i cannot get on that good information I absolutely think that that you should be able to blend both, both traditional and 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 both we'll have this place. And you're absolutely right, especially since there was a time when they re, re, uh, relied heavily on natural natural things. You know, when they was interested in actually helping to heal the ailment instead of you know nursing the symptoms. That is a different kettles that you just stumbled on absolutely yeah there was a time when they was really interested in helping to heal the person and i think that's part of the problem we have as a nation right now absolutely it's a business now you know and um, when it comes down to this particular virus there um you just have to hear the rooms that she's a part of I was able to hear um, how the patent for the coronavirus was in 2013, and um, it lined out what the person could not do. Like, the person could not have outside, you know, like fresh air. And then, you know, it just made, it, it painted a picture of what happened to us and what they were trying to accomplish, if that makes any sense. Yeah. I'm reading between your lines. <laughs> Am I doing a good job? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Nicole, did you get the chance to check out the car? Yes, yes, I have looked at it in quite detail. It's phenomenal. I, I, I think I want to sign up. I think you do too, and I know that you should. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and send you a better link um, than the one I've already sent you. Okay, and this okay. is two ways you can go um, so that you can get started. Do you think that you want to just cover yourself, or do you want the um, card that will enable you to receive um, 20% uh, commission off of when a person comes on board because of you. Yes, I'd like that. Um, yeah, because so because at the moment, right, one of the things is that I'm trying to, to start a business and sort of transition from my, my, my Monday to Friday, 9 to 5 job that although I should finish at 9, sorry, at 5 o'clock, sometimes about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 2 a.m. in the morning, I'm still completing my notes. Mm -hmm. so I need to get a, something where I can have more time with my children. My younger son, he's got autism and, you know, even, be, so I'm in the UK and we've had six weeks holiday and I've had to, to juggle everything, which is, I take them to work with me in the car because I work in the community and then I could see my clients because I'm a single parent and I know they. I know they understand a bit of it, but we've had some time off, which is three days now, and they're going back to school next week, Thursday. And I just want to have some sort of opportunity where I don't miss them growing up. 
Oh, wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you have every reason to just make um, some money other ways to free up your time. So basically for you, it's about buying your time back. Yes, definitely. I need I need to do that because now my son he couldn't talk for such a long time. Now he's talking and and then we can explore so many more things now and my other son. So it's it definitely about buy back time. So if I can have a bit more passive income, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. So I just yeah. sent you both ways that you can sign up and then uh, we meet here at ten AM and t- ten PM. Um, every day and he has a support team like no other so you're never going to be left alone I extend myself out to you too um, as your point of reference and um, all of those things and so um, yeah we can get you squared away as far as how to set your card up and everything okay okay thank you thank you so much thank you Absolutely, absolutely. Miss Cynthia, how are you? Would you like to come up and speak? <coughs> so, um, Sean is here, Nicole. This is the gentleman that I was telling you about, the um, the creator of the 10K card. Um so Nicole just purchased, well, she's going to purchase. I just sent her the link. It's just a matter of which one she's going to choose. And Amanda will get back to us when she shares the opportunity with her um, her friends and family. And um, Tanya knows a lot more about the sponsorship now. And I think all of our bases may be covered. Um, hi, Chris, Cynthia. Hi, I'm sorry. I was multitasking, and I kept, I heard you calling me. I had to hurry up and come back to the app. I'm so sorry, but um, I got the card, and I actually just did everything on it a couple of days ago. I had to reach out to Mr. Sean Tinkay himself to um, I was setting it up wrong, so I finally got it all set up. I finally got my email. And I have to do my upgrade, and I'm going to do my upgrade um, next week um, before I can start really sharing it out. Because I actually was out of town. I was up in New York, and I was talking. Someone asked about my business card. And I go, oh, actually, I don't have one. And I said, oh, wait a minute. I got my 10K card, but when I went to look, look it up, I didn't set it up yet. So I explained to them what it does, somewhat of what I knew of being in the prior rooms and they said well when you set it up just send me the link so i can look at it and then maybe i can sign up with you and i'm like oh sure no problem absolutely <laughs> thank you yay yeah i like it i just gotta upgrade so i can get mostly of the um to get the other things that it comes with but i did send them to show what i was doing pre what i already done and they sent me back an email saying they're gonna um they most likely will be signing up soon. So I said, no problem. Just let me know anybody else that needs it. And I can send it all over to them as well. Absolutely. And that's how it go. Sean would say, there he go. If he was here, that's what he would say. <laughs> um, so does anybody else have any questions about how to use the 10K card? Okay. Any revelations since we've been talking? No? Okay, so I'll just tell you a little bit about how I'm using it. I um, I use it everywhere I go. Anybody I talk to gets a 10K card, whether they have the old-fashioned card for me or not. Um, I am now requiring partners um, in the real estate industry to have one so that we can refer each other business. And so for me, this is an opportunity for everybody. And I'm going to make sure that they know it. Just like we tell everybody about the um, boutique we like, the restaurant we like, the nightclub, whatever your shush is, um, I make sure everybody know what I'm into, what I'm doing uh, these days. And 
it's been it's been getting received really nicely. The people are actually calling me back and thanking me. I really feel like um I don't know. I kept this happening. Something's happening. Sean has a great product. This much is true. But this room is special. You know what I mean? It's founded on the card and it's special. So I just wanted you guys to know that um not only you guys are using it religiously, but I definitely still am. And I'm still as excited about it today as I was the first day. Um, it just makes so much sense for me. What do you want to say, Sean? Just tapping in real quick. Um, I think you were speaking to Amanda or was it Amanda or Nicole that was um, considering getting the card? Yes, that's Amanda. Do Amanda, not call her Mandy. Sorry? Do not call her Mandy. Okay, no, no, I only called her Mandy once the upgrade. No okay. nickname before the upgrade. Okay. <laughs> Mandy, what's up? It was um, Nicole who said that she wanted to get it straight Amanda, away. How are you? It was Nicole that said that she wanted to get it straight away for her business, and I said I'm indecisive at this minute. Not about yeah. school. I have you, Amanda, that I'm going to come straight to Nicole. Amen. And that's exactly why I want to find out. Okay, so here's a question. What business are you into? What business are you into, Amanda? Well, I'm a full-time carer of both of my parents, and I'm a co-author, also. Got it. And um, do you have a need for a business card? That's the first question. At the moment, I don't know if I ha have a need um, for a business card for myself, but I'm seeing it for others. I've actually told some people already about it. Unless they're going to come in the room to check it out because they have a great following. So I've already been doing some networking and um, seeing if it's something that they would want. And I've invited them, ping them into the room so they're going to see if they can come in because they can reach more people than I could reach by myself. Are you that you don't want. That's number one. So whenever it's real, and the reason I asked you that question, I would never want you to commit this to go know when it's right for you to get one. Thank okay, you. Green, uh, Queen Nicole. I'm not anti it. You're welcome. Queen Nicole, are you in the building? I am here. Yes, thank you. Now tell me about this 10K quarter you're considering getting and why. Well, I want to make passive income. Um, oh, you're talking my language, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> the reason, so, um, the reason I tell you, yes. the reason that I told you that, right? I'm sitting on stage today. I'm having a conversation with everyone today, and the amount of different deposits that's hidden my different accounts from affiliate, it feels really good. So when you use the word passive income, I have a tremendous respect for you. Because you understand one of the secret formulas to becoming wealthy. I just wanted to drop that in. Okay, the mind Thank you. Is... You're in a matrix, Sean. We can't hear you, Sean. You're somewhere in the matrix. Who was that? We can hear what you were saying. Okay, now I can hear. Oh, no, no. When someone used the word um, passive income, it clearly, it clearly um, signaled to me that they know exactly what to wealth include. Okay, so that was very important right there. And have you seen enough of the product as well as yet, Nicole, to make a decision? I'm still looking through it and okay. um, and going through the information that Kenyatta sent me. Okay. Because one of the, in addition to making passive income, is because, as I said, 
I work a nine to five job and although it, I should finish at nine, sorry, at five, sometimes I'm up at 10, 10 o'clock in the night, getting up and go to bed, get back up to 2 a.m. and writing notes. Right. So, so the business that I want to start, I want to start a coaching business, which is, um, I'm, I'm transitioning in between what I want to be, but I think I'm going to settle probably on being a self-portrait coach. Okay. So I want to, to I, I want to provide that sort of service. Um, so I want to help people. I want to do a coaching, coaching courses. And I want to turn my passive income into full time so I can have more time with my children. So it's about advertising my services and getting right. visibility, about growing my visibility. Um, I write books as well. I do publishing, but so, so I've got lots of things going on. I write songs. My son and I, we've got this song on SoundCloud, which has over 34,000 views. So if, I think if I understand it clearly, I might be wrong with the 10 K card, you can advertise to different businesses or specialities that you provide. Is that correct? That is correct. It's the way we need to put everything all in one place. And most importantly, um, when people engage with you, it's easy for them to access your product or services. And for them to connect with you via your website, your social media, your phone number, email, anything you want them to have, we put it all in one place um, for the client. And most importantly, when they're ready to book for your services, they can book and pay you directly instead of having to go through any third party arrangements. Okay, and then what about my, because at the moment, I think my met, my website needs a little bit of work. Will okay. it be, does it, does it, does it, because I, I did a little bit of a, checked it myself yesterday, and when I went to it, it was a little bit confusing. It's not the front, the first page, is the landing page, sorry, it's not um, resonating what or aligning with what I want to do, which is coaching. So would that would it not be a bit confusing or I don't know if you understand what I mean. So the good news is I mean. the good news is the card will grow with you. So whenever you make upgrades and adjustments, the same thing happens with the card. And I always believe in being true and authentic. So when your clients see your authenticity, you're gonna get more credibility with them. So it's not polish outlook it's not always we're having the, the, the best uh, presentation or whatever yeah, the team is already working on the card for you we'll just back over to you and then um once you give the green light just put the premium version but the premium version, whenever you card with someone and they see the value in having them so organized and put together the same way you are and they decide to make a purchase 20 percent will go to you Okay. And do you need to have a room? Do I need to have a room on Clubhouse? Sorry? Do I need to have a room on Clubhouse or anything like that, or it doesn't really matter? Yes. Yeah. Not... It, it doesn't matter. You don't have to, but I would definitely recommend you invest in, um, you invest some time and open up a room on Clubhouse and share your message on what you believe in. Because when you have a room, you can open up a room for hours just having a conversation. And then you'll start attracting different clients into your room. And that's how you're going to start expanding and growing your business. Because if you look at it as you're going to open up rooms to give, share, and help others, your customers will start seeing that genuine side of you. And then they'll start buying into your product and services and your brand. Okay. And the more the more people, that, sorry, the more clients I share the, the 10K card with, I get 20% off the referrals. Every like time a referral they purchase. Fee. That is correct, my dear. Okay. Wow. Are you from Trinidad? Even, no, I was born in Guyana. Left when I was nine years old. But my okay. two older kids, their mom is from Trinidad. So I've been going ah. to Trinidad for like over ten years now. So I love okay. the local food. <laughs> okay, because I'm from Tobago. Oh, okay, there you go. I'll give you a funny joke. <laughs> one year I was a uh, one year I was in Trinidad on vacation and decided to go to Tobago, where they had like a little event taking place. And we were in the middle of the event, and I was, wait, let me see, uh, kids. I think it was, is Tobago Carnival anything close to Trinidad's Carnival? <laughs> no, it's far from it. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. So, <laughs> yes. 
I was literally in the middle of the session and asking where. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tobago was not the place for the um, for the partying. It was friendly. No. No, it's Trinidad, definitely, definitely. My my aunt has a restaurant in Tobago. It's called Gemma Sea View Kitchen. It's in Speyside. Right. So I don't know if you've been to that side of the island. Baby girl, I have not been to Trinidad in the last 20 years. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that was a minute ago. Oh, my goodness. Okay, sorry. Okay, all right. Well, I, what, in terms of the 10K card, I will just continue looking over it and see. But I, I, I think I want to do it because then it's pushing me towards fulfilling my passion because, as I said, I really need that time with my family. I don't want to miss the group, my children growing up. So passive income is key right now. Yeah. When you see me take the mic, when you see me take the mic, Queen, it's not for me to do a think tank session with you. The thinking you can do it by yourself. I want to provide the answers that's going to help you with a yes or a no. And... Um, if you're thinking about a three hundred dollar purchase, then you're in trouble already. You're already in trouble. You want to be thinking of the freedom that it's going to give you. And uh, if in twelve months, let's say you double the um, the money you spent on your card, would you say that was a worth a worthy investment? Yes, sure, of course. Well, okay, no problem. And I can assure you for a fact, you can do way more than um, double the money on your um, your three hundred dollars investment. Because if you leave three hundred dollars on the bank, my dear, after one year you may get a dollar interest on it. Okay, and that is doing nothing for you. But when you invest in not only having the best representation out there, but it's connected to the affiliate link, game over situation. And when people come on stage and they're sharing their testimony, it's not bullshit, my dear. The app is full of crap, but I'm one of those individuals that will promise you always the crap. I have a strong name on the app and it's for a reason. Because I keep it real. Finally healed. Finally, Shanique, you're here. You're in the building. How are you? Fine. How are you? I am good. You just come and kick Nicole out of the conversation. Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll put you in mute. I'll come to you there in a second. Okay? okay. I'll be in okay. a second. Yes, Nicole. So the thing about it, Nicole, if it didn't make sense, I would not be um putting. I wouldn't put my name, my face, most importantly, my family behind the brand. Because if you go on my Instagram, not only are you going to see me in a lot of videos, but I even have videos of my little son and my little daughter on the, um, Instagram already. And I'm not that desperate to make money if I didn't believe in something. Okay, it is a good product. It's going to add value to your life and your um, career. So whenever you're ready, boom, just let me know we're here for you. In less than an hour, I'm going to send you. In fact, I want you to text me. Text me your first name to 934. Let me know when you're ready to text. I'm writing it down, 934. Four, four, in fact, wait, let me do it even better. One second, because if someone tried to call you, or... And I'm in the UK. You're in the UK? All right, so we're going to have to do WhatsApp then. Um, yeah. Let me see. I'm going to back channel you my card right now. Let me send me a message on the back channel. Okay. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that, but okay, yeah, I'll no. try to. I just did. I tried. Um, yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, man. Okay, yes. I see how to do it now. I found it. Yeah. Send me a back channel message now. Uh Oh, I need to. I need to. Okay, hang on. I think I need to follow you first. Um. Okay, just Instagram message you. Yes, I saw it now. Yes, thank you. Click on the Instagram message and click on WhatsApp. Let me just show you how convenient this is. Okay, Instagram message. And then click on WhatsApp and, and tell me hi. Okay. Oh my God, hang on, sorry. <laughs> my internet's very slow, sorry. It's going round. Well. Oh, okay. Accept. I got it. All right. So click on WhatsApp. Yes. And uh, I'm trying to show you how easy it is to communicate with someone across the world. 
Oh yes, I got it. All right. Did you send? Did you send a message? Yep, I'm sending it now. You got there it. There we go. Look how easy that was. It just popped up. Okay, I see. Ah. So everything that you want to so communicate, that's right. Anything that you want to communicate to your clients, you can mm -hmm. put it all in one place. And just by the push of a button, boom, you're connected. Okay. And then, you know, this, okay, this is awesome. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> now you see why I'm a very public guy, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Okay, audience, I would not be apologize, but for this kind of free marketing, I will not. <laughs> okay, I see what is, what's happening. Okay, so this is quite cool, actually. Hmm. This is why, this is why, my dear, when you have a product that delivers this kind of results, you don't have to sell the product. All you have to do is share to others. And that same fascination that you have, you're going to have clients that's definitely going to want to get the product because of you. And when you get the product, you're going to want to be paid on it. At least that's what I would recommend. Okay. Okay. So I'm, I just need to source the, just, I need to make it happen. Those are my three favorite words now. Make it happen. Right. The team, the team is already building the card for you based on your profile. And then when I send it over to you on WhatsApp, we're going to polish it up according to how you want it. And then you can make the payment once, once it's finished. Okay. Okay. And then you'll be able to share your card with anyone, anywhere, at any time. And you'll be able to connect with them. Most importantly, you'll be able to put your course on the card to make it very simple and effortless for others to engage with you. Okay. Okay. That's, wow, mind-blowing. Thank you. You're super welcome, Queen. <laughs> now, you. let me mention, let me welcome Miss Shinnik. Is it Shinnik or Shinnik? Shaniqua. Yes, hi. I'm Jordan. Am I saying it, it correctly? <laughs> yes, you are. All right, Shaniqua. How are you? You came on the under the city and all that energy. What are you up to? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, actually, I was in another room. I got kicked out because the internet connection. I'm not sure what's going on with it, but I uh, just seen this room and I was like, oh, okay, I want to was interested so I'm fairly new to Clubhouse so I was still just trying to figure out everything. I got you. So I'm one of the guys that run around Clubhouse and I'm making some good money to be honest with you. I'm not here to bullshit anyone. And what I wanted is to share with others how to start um, monetizing their time on Clubhouse. So whenever whenever you have a, a digital card, a 10k card, Whatever room you're in, it's a way for you to share with the audience in the room who you are and what you're doing. And with the card, you can put everything that you want to share with your clients all in one place. It is the most oh, okay. up-to-date, advanced piece of um, tool that you can be using on Clubhouse today. Okay, so the more you run around Clubhouse, is the more you're going to see 10K card up and down the place, all right? So when you're ready to say, Sean, I'm ready to get mine, look in my bio and text me the words, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Shaker. Now, before I go to you, Arvin, Thank this you. is the first stage. So let me go here. Let me Sheila for a second. Sheila, how are you? Oh, Sheila. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm well. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. I'm good. Sheila, do you understand I'm... how powerful that profile picture is? My profile picture? You understand how powerful it is? Um, I, I was hoping for, I was going for that <laughs> with the industry that I'm in. Anytime someone look at your profile picture, they have no choice but to start laughing or oh. smiling. Okay? Oh. Because okay, laughing and smiling, energy. that's different. <laughs> that's the energy you radiate through your photograph, and that's what you want to do. Wherever oh, you go, that's the energy that you want to bring, okay? Yeah. So, just as promised, in less than an hour, I'm going to inbox you. In fact, you already back me. I'm going to back channel you card in less than an hour, and then I'm going to give you a little bit of info on so how to best use it. Okay, okay Queen? Cool. That works. Yep, you thank you. It. Appreciate it. You're welcome, Queen. 
Nice. You got it now. Orphan! Let me put my season. My man, man Sean, what's up? <laughs> hey, hey, do a quick PTR, man. Do a quick PTR and look at my uh, photo. <laughs> Sorry, say that. Okay, let me do a reason, son, real quick. Oh, shit, Orphan! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Atlanta was amazing, my brother. Atlanta yeah, it was, was brother. Awesome. It was good to meet you in person, man. Absolutely. Same here, man. I just Same wanted here. to come on stage and, uh, yeah, I wanted to come on stage and just share a testimony, man, uh, that from uh, from the 10K card. You know, I've, I've got my digital marketing business on there. Now I need to create one for my real estate business. But I, I got a couple of clients from this 10K card. Uh, last week <laughs> and I had no clue which links I had out there to be honest with you and I had to go and figure out like okay where was that link before now so because I have my link I have the actual URL across some of my channels and so I went back and looked at it said, oh okay that's good to know so I just want to let you know man you brought me two clients last week I appreciate the card you yeah, see that's what I'm talking about also Arvin so not only the card helped you, so share with the audience why the card helped you to get those customers. Let them hear it from oh, you. Dear. Yeah, so the number one reason, so let everyone know I'm Arvin Poole. I, I, my, my background is actually is electrical engineering, digital marketing. Uh, my current career is digital marketing, but I'm a new investor. So what I've done here is kind of taken my business model of digital marketing and providing services to those clients and crossing that over into the real estate vertical so basically i generate leads for clients in all sorts of different verticals and so now i'm niching down into real estate so that that's one way for me not to be all over the place and still be able to run my my company so the, the card itself is self-contained and it allows me to share one piece of data or one one URL, right, which has all this information that I'm able to update dynamically or just share it with Sean's team and say, hey, can you just make this change? But the beautiful part about this, I don't have to manage it on my own, right? It, it's that QR code that is a, uh, that is part of that, that uh, card can also be put on your shirt. It can be, I've got another idea, by the way, and I'll see you in New York brother and when you want to see you you're going to be like okay can i get one of those but i'm not going to share right now but the qr code itself is one of your best marketing tools because it is a way that you can instantly you know have people download your information and you can also share what's inside the qr code as well there are other options in there so it just saved me literally minutes of time every time i meet a contact or a person or a prospect Say, hey, here's my QR code. Even if you're not around the QR code, if you have it placed on your on your uh, products or things on your website, you, they can just scan it. And I've got another uh, channel that I'm actually introducing. I'm gonna drop a nugget to the audience here. I got another channel that I am actually uh, getting ready to introduce to my clients in my VIP class. Is a thing called Blip Billboards. So Blip Billboards, has anyone heard of that? If you have, flash your mic. Blip Billboards is basically digital. It's like the billboards that you see when you're driving down the highway, right? And so what it does, it allows you to run ads on those billboards like you would run Facebook and Google. So when you do a Blip Billboard, you don't want to put a lot of information. You know, you just want to put very short phrases that gets people attention and then Boom. No one has ever actually marketed their QR codes on these digital billboards in a vast, like, in, a, in, a, in what I consider, they haven't scaled this approach. I've seen maybe one or two billboards that have QR codes, but I don't feel like they're using them effectively. So I'm working with a company. I'm a partner with Blue Billboards, and we're trying to put together a campaign for some big clients that have a nice brand. And we're going to test how those QR codes can actually generate more leads for their business. Because if I'm driving, right, and I'm and I'm stuck at a stoplight and I see a billboard, 
I may not have time to write stuff down, but if I can point my phone at that digital billboard and it picks up on my camera, boom, it's already in my phone and I can keep moving. So this is one thing we're going to test. Obviously, you don't want to be driving and using your phone, but uh, it is worth an experiment to see how it, effective it can be for especially real estate investors, people who are in local areas. Those billboards are like right in the smack middle rural towns that maybe you can invest in. And so wouldn't it be cool to have your QR code on one of these big signs that says, hey, you buy, you buy homes? So I'm giving you a free nugget. Go to blipbillboards.com. You know, I'm a partner with them, so I don't really care about, like, any referrals or anything like that. But go check it out and see if any of those billboards are in the areas that you do real estate marketing in. That's I'm Arvin, and I am done. That's why I'm using the 10K card. The 10K. Hey, Sean. There we go. Here's another thing to Arvin. Is the blip billboard on your card right now? Nope, not yet. Text me, I got it. Text I, me the I, link. I, I need to. Uh, text me the link right now. Because anyone on stage or in the audience that want to connect with Arvin, all you have to do is type arvin10k.com. His name is right there, A-R-V-I-N-10K.com, and it's going to take you straight to his card. All right? So when you send me the link for the big billboard, Arvin, we're going to add it on within a minute onto the card for you. Got it. I'll do that in a, in a, in a, in a quick second here. I, gotta, I just got home, man, so let me get in front of a computer and do that. Say less, buddy. Say less. You got it. All right? All right, guys, there you have it. And one of the reasons I brought Arvin to the table is someone that I know not only on Clubhouse, but we actually met in real life in Atlanta. And as I said, he's pretty a cool dude, real, very authentic, genuine. And when you're on the app and you come across good people, you want to let the world know who they are. Let the rest of the app, the app know who they are. Alternatively, if you come across a scumbag or a piece of shit, also let the world know who they are. Because it's the best way for us to protect these young, innocent people on the app that might be prey to some of these suckers out there. So always remember, guys, whenever you come to a room like mine, most people claim it's a safe place. This is not a safe place. Okay? Because we can let you know as it is. And it's not always going to be pretty. But we're always going to be honest with you. So with that said, who want to take the mic and give a share? Sheila, you want to tell us what you do? Oh, Sheila. I'm sorry. I'm driving. Yeah, you wanna, you that's all right. <laughs> you um, you want to okay. tell us what you do? What's your career path? Sure. I am. Uh, my name is Tishila Early. Um, I mostly go by Sheila. I own a company called Early Transport Inc. I am in the, um, obviously, in the transportation industry. I have been a truck driver for over 15 years. I can drive trucks, I can drive heavy machinery, I can drive semi uh, dump trucks, semi trucks, all of that stuff. Um, currently, my partner and I are brokering dump trucks in uh, the Jacksonville, Florida area, and we are trying to um, diversify our portfolio, so we are trying to get into the real estate industry space. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm here to learn. Um, I saw you over in the other group. I think uh, me and Shan what was her name? I think Shaniqua was in there. The uh, you know the group with the uh, real estate. Um, I, I don't know what happened over there. I think it got shut down or something because I got I got kind of kicked out. What was that? Oh, and okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so um, I was over there, and that's where that's where I met you. Um, but they kept mentioning you, um, uh, Sean, um, and the ten k card thing, and I was just I've been like uh, sitting in rooms for a while now. I'm still new, but for like maybe about a week or so, and I keep hearing that, and I'm like, what is that? And then you chimed in, and I'm like, oh, okay. And so I'm over here to learn more about what you have going on. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Guys, that, that's when you know you're making a significant impact on the app. When they keep hearing about you. <laughs> so what we do, Queen, is very simple. We create the, the digital business card, and I'm having the team put together a basic version for you. We have two versions, the basic version and the premium version. With the basic version, you'll have all of your links in one place. Your website, your phone number. And the fact that you have 15 years of experience in the 
trucking business. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, um, I started with dump trucks. Actually, I started with school buses. Um, that's how I initially got my um, my CDL. I started with a Class B driving school buses for a couple of years, and then um, I figured out that I didn't want to be bothered with kids. So I love kids, but I just didn't want to be bothered with them. And so I um, decided to go the truck around, and I always wanted to drive trucks. Um, so I ended up going to a small mom pa company. Um, they gave me a chance. Um, I drove for them for about a year, and then I um, moved to a bigger company over in Illinois, um, where they have um, like um, they have they're unionized up there. So you know you you're in the union. Um, I drove dump trucks with them for about eleven years, and then I um, got a semi truck for myself. Started driving semi trucks, um, and that's. I fell in love with that. Um, I love semi-trucks, but I ended up getting out of it because I was doing some business with someone else. That partnership didn't work out. So I got out of that, and the universe just kind of led me back over to um, construction. And so uh, I had an opportunity to move to Florida, which is where I wanted to be anyway. Um, A friend of mine down here was running his own uh, uh, dump truck company. He's been in business for 15 years as well. And uh, we just decided to partner up. So um, together we do that. We just um, broke out the, the dump trucks out here. So let me ask you a question. Do you think you have enough to share with someone that they will pay you to consult with them? By the A, making their trucking company better, or B, getting into the trucking industry? I do. More so on, um, I think, the driver side. I'm still new to the brokering side. I'm learning from him. And, and this industry is a never-ending, never-ending learning. Uh, uh, it's, it's, you you never stop learning. There's always something um, new that, and that you have to keep up with. And then that's in all industries, I suppose. But um, we're always, you know, finding something, finding out something new. The laws are always changing. There's, you know, there's just so much to learn. So I'm still fairly new um, over here. But yeah, absolutely, especially in the um, driver, because I've been driving for so long and working for different companies. So I've kind of been, you know, around and um and i'm in a bunch of groups so i'm learning a lot from people um brokers drivers you know all of that so definitely okay and the reason i ask you that question is if you have enough information that can change the quality of someone's life like you have 15 you have 15 years into it so if you can if you can share something with someone that will save them let's say 12 13 years of experience do you think someone should pay you for that? Absolutely. There we go. And that's exactly how you start creating the opportunity for coaching uh, possibilities. So with that, you can literally have someone reserve your time. They can book you for half hour. They can book you for an hour consultation. And that's how you can um, end up getting paid for being a consultant. Because if I was to get into the, con- the truck industry, I wanted to hear your experience and see where I can save myself time and money also my energy actually i was actually i was um i've been researching how to like get a course going um but i'm still in the infant stages of that i'm just trying to find which way would be the right way to go and you know trying to find different resources and things like that but i'm I would like to try to do that. I would even like to do the one-on-one consulting, but if I can get something that, um, you know, could just, it could be running while I'm doing other things, I would love to do that as well. So what, what I would recommend is step one, start off with giving value. Get comfortable with giving value. And then once you're comfortable with giving value and you start actually building a community, then you start launching the courses. And don't be afraid to put out a single course. Um, you know, start recording your session first of all. And as you're recording the session, others will see value in it. Give it away for free until you start structuring something correctly. So when you're known as a person who's always giving value, they will come to you when it's time to actually um, engage with you. Okay, Queen? I love that. Thank you. I'll look into that. <laughs> you're super, super welcome. Send me a message on the number in my bio, and as soon as the card is finished, I'll send it back to you, okay? So just text me, text me your first name as soon as you can. Okay, will do. Thank you. You got it. Anyone else on 
stage. Arvin, you still in the building? Yeah, I'm still in the building, brother. I, just I want you to share you. with the team. Yep, I want to share with the team what you just mentioned in the other room about marketing, because I believe some may some may miss it. Okay, sure thing. Uh, so I, I, I part time teach over at University of Texas here in Austin, and um, you know my focus is digital marketing. So any um, you know strategy or tactic to drive traffic and leads to your to any channel it doesn't have to be just your website it can be your social media etc but my, my entire goal for my clients is always to drive uh, qualified leads to their business and so one of the things that we we did an experiment in our class um, and we talked it's really focused on scarcity marketing scarcity marketing meaning that if someone that you value right that you know gives you a bit of information and then they say hey in order to get the rest of the information they've already been vouched they've already you've already done your due diligence and they are reputable right and they give you let's say a, a bite of information but then in order to get the rest of the information would you sign up to get that extra information so that that's a yes or no question so we did this experiment I said, okay we're going to take someone and try to deliver that same information, but not well known. They don't really know uh, anybody in the industry, but they have the same information and they're sharing it for free, right? They're giving all of it away. Less people actually took action on the same information because guess what? We don't do business with data. We do business with people. So our reputation and our credibility is, is a direct line to scarcity, which is why in the room that we were in, and I'll give you a little back history, is uh, there was a brother, uh, Jonathan Bing, who was sharing some really great information. And because Jonathan is so giving of helping others, people know that when he drops anything, it's of value, right? But Jonathan could have come to my class at University of Texas and shared 10 minutes of that data, right? They wouldn't have known who he is, and they probably would have been like, who is this guy? You know what I mean? So my point is, there are people who may fear when someone is sharing valuable information that may be a threat. And I call I say threat. It's actually a perceived threat because they feel like they are now penetrating in, in your territory or your, uh, your marketplace. In reality, it's just the opposite. Right, so that's the scarcity mindset. We need to get out of the scarcity mindset, and that and that's where scarcity marketing comes in. Scarcity marketing is just a, a it's an inverse relation to those with a scarcity mindset. And in order to have an abundance mindset, we have to be able to be comfortable in sharing information, but understanding that the information that you're sharing is just the data. People still need to know the how, and that's where you need to build your business. You need to be the expert in the how business, not the what business. And so when people share information, I never fear if it's in my industry because they still have to come back to me. And not only that, my target audience may never cross over into your target audience. Clubhouse is just a small 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 percentage of the millions and millions of people in america that your product can touch so get out of the scarcity mindset understand what scarcity marketing and use it to your advantage but use scarcity marketing in terms of an abundance mindset i'm arvin Poole and i'm done speaking Guys, that is so much information. If applied correctly, you can start changing the direction of your business, or you can cross-reference it with whatever you're using right now and start making a shift. All right, Absolutely. Arvin, you know, whenever I'm in a room with you, I'm always going to acknowledge you, brother. Make no mistake about it. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you always having me up on stage and uh, being able to provide any value that I can. Right. We just added curb and key onto your card, sir. So I don't know how much of a priority it is for you. So let me know how high you want us to take it. Yeah, I want to. I, right I want your current key to be at the top, actually. So, 
since that's say what less, I say less, most about focus. the very top. Yep. There we go, my brother. Curb and key, let's take it to the top. And that right there, just so you know, um, Arvin is such the way forward right now. Because with the COVID, with the COVID season, you know, there's so much that you have to restrict yourself from. And that right there is perfect. There's no touching. There's no six feet. Man, you can be as you can be a million miles away. And Kirby Absolutely. can help you. Absolutely. Bingo. Okay, so Arvin10k.com, you are all set, my brother. Thank you, my brother. Okay, let me take off the Clubhouse Live 2.0 since so that's finished. Cool. Oh, yeah. forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah, you know, all right. Okay, now everything is all set. You are good to go. Arvin, always a pleasure, man. Any yeah, you might, questions? And, and if you Sorry? can, if you can add, uh, add the next event, that would be awesome. Miami. Oh, yeah. As soon as, yeah, as soon as they, um, they confirm it, we're going to put that on no problem. Got it. Okay, all right, buddy, always a pleasure. Any additional question, guys, before we leave? Any question or comments, let me know. All right, Sheila, as soon as your card is finished, Queen, I'll send it over. Let me double check that you just sent me something. Um, Sheila is ready. Actually, that Miami. Damn, Sheila. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Yeah, uh, I think the Miami even Arvin was talking about I wanted to get some information on that because I'm I think they were talking about it in another room earlier today so when us right I might be able to swing so it's gonna be it's gonna be in January I think it's January 6th I believe and um we can have information so much out there you don't even have to worry about uh, missing that events we are check your card right now check your back channel I just sent you the card of the team for you and let me see, Nicole, Nicole, yep, Nicole, you are ready to. Yep, Man, I, I want to trade what I do. You got to check it out and let me know what you think about it. Let me set Nicole's card as well. It's in your back channel. Nicole, check your WhatsApp, Queen. Oh, I don't see yeah, check your back channel. In your back channel, if you go to the back channel, you'll see it right there. So basically, just click on myself. Click on yourself. Oh no, no, go to the back. Okay, so click on, click on my face, and then once you click on my face, click on the the, the triangle. Okay. <laughs> I'm there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, got it. Oh, nice. <laughs> I well, swear I can never I can never hear this enough <laughs> nice okay it's also of like, of like speechless here we go welcome to the 10k way guys thank you and as much as I would love to take the credit I just have a super power team that backs me so they're the ones who make it all possible for me. They're the ones who fix my cape. They're the ones who fix the cape so I can make it happen. Okay. So when people want to, when I want to get, like, um, use this, then um, would I send them a link or tell them to go, where do I tell them to go, 10,000? Uh, all right, step one. Do you have an iPhone or a Samsung? Samsung. Oh, God. All right, I'll work with you. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. <laughs> All right, so click on, so when the, once the card is open, the top right corner, you'll have three dots or you'll have three lines. Which one is it for you? Dot. The third, okay, so click on the dots and then choose the option to say add to home screen. Okay. Uh, history download. Okay. Marks and to home screen. Got it. There okay. we go. Click on add. Got it. Okay. And then tell you what happens. And so it added it added it to my home screen. Hey, there I go. There we go. So now it sits on your phone like an app. Right. 
So when you meet someone, all you have to do is to touch on your beautiful face, and then your card opens up. If you want to share it with someone, click on the button that says scan my card, and your QR code uh, pops up. Oh, with my face in the middle of it. That's so cute. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm such a mushy bird. Okay, you know what it is. I like it. There we go. That's nice. And so I can, so I can use this on my platforms, and people can. Yes, just you can. Like, yes, you oh, can. About oh, that would be nice. So you be you see your face and your QR code in the middle of your QR code on a big old billboard. There you go. Or your or your logo. Yep, and then you can even put these on this truck that you're driving as well. Once you put a QR code on the truck, and want to point their camera at the QR code, your information is gonna pop up. Get out of town. Okay, so I can put this on my business <laughs> Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm buying the plane ticket. You just have to get out of town. Okay. <laughs> I'm so crazy with this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Really. You are super welcome. So what I did, as promised, I provided the basic version for you as a gift. When you're ready to do the upgrade, just um, text your DM me the word upgrade for the premium version. And with the premium version, it's a one-time payment of 300 And when someone decides to purchase one, because of you, you're going to get 20%. Ah, okay. So we can actually get paid off of this as well? There, there we go. There we go. <laughs> so whenever you're out and about, yeah, whenever you're out and about, so you're sharing your card and someone decides to purchase, 20% of that purchase belongs to you. How cool is that? Very cool. I like it. Just let me know where you leave it. And I will this definitely be sharing it. Sorry, what was that? That was you, Nicole? Sorry, I interrupted. Sorry. Go ahead, Sheila. Yeah, the excitement. excitement that, <laughs> the excitement does that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was finished. I was just saying that I'll be definitely sharing this. So I'll be you um, got it. premium you, pack soon. You got it, Quinn. As soon as you're ready, I'm here for you. So, Nicole, how do you like the car? I'm speechless. I'm I'm sitting on the edge of literally sitting on the edge of my seat right now because it's like wow. You you've just transformed my thinking. Oh wow. Love wow. it, love it, love it. The, look, the reality the reality of the situation is if you're gonna be stuck in the same old place of doing business, you're gonna get the same old results. So you don't want that happening, okay? Yes, yes, you're right. You're right. Oh my god. Yeah. And that's yes. why that's why I took the mic. That's why I took the mic when you were on stage earlier. Because anyone I see struggling and making an entrepreneurial decision, which is simply to say yes. My question mm -hmm. is to find out how long do you want to keep pushing back your destiny? Haven't you pushed it back long enough? Yes. Long enough, yes. It's it's very yes. Yeah. But yeah. So my, my question here. Sorry. I love it. So the, the power question is do you want to go the basic version for one hundred or the premium for three? You tell me. Don't be the shy. Basic, the, <laughs> the basic version for one hundred or the premium for three hundred. And I have to pay that, that today. Um, if you want, you can start with a basic one, and then you can always upgrade to the premium one. Okay, no rush. Okay, I'll, I'll do with the basic one for now. You got it. I like that. And what I'll do, I'm going to challenge you to something. I'm on Clubhouse at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every afternoon, any, every morning, sorry. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time again. If you get me five, if you bring five customers to the room, I'm going to pay for the upgrade for you. Um... I'm going to do the upgrade for you. So you'll pay for the basic version. Give me five clients. I'll take every upgrade for you. How does that sound? I, I get it. I was still on the edge of my seat. And do you know why I... I'm doing that? The reason I'm doing that, I don't want you to think it's um it's all about the money. No, it's about the effort. It's about the effort. Put the effort in. 
but I don't want money to stop you from actually making a difference in your life and your family's life. That's something that I was wanting, I was want to remind you of. And if you find you're not surrounded with some people who can actually help you in this way, reconsider the people you're spending your time with. Your time is non-refundable. True. Okay. I'm working on that right now. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I will. I will work on that immediately. Thank you. You got it, Queen. I just sent you stuff, Marie. How are you, Queen? I see you, Marie. The team is already working on you. Marie already just sent me her signal. I am ready. Let me pull Marie up. Say, say hello. <laughs> Marie hi, is everyone. in the building. Marie, how are you? <laughs> That's good. How are you? Thank you so much. <laughs> you are super welcome, Queen. The team is already working on the card for you. So within within an hour, I'm going to text it back over to you, okay? All right. You want to tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? What are you ready for? Um. I am a life coach. I've been a life coach for 20 years. So before uh, the acknowledgement of life coaching, I've been doing it outside of um, social media, just word of mouth based on my results. And um, now things are a little bit different because of social media. I don't um, gravitate too much to how I can promote myself um, a little bit more through social media. So this is a great opportunity that I can have in just passive type of income as I continue to navigate on how I can manage um, promoting myself through social media as a life coach. I love it, love it. And also, you're you're really going to fall in love with the car when you see it. The reason being, while you're moving from room to room and you're sharing who you are and what you do, and people want to connect with you, you want to have one central point where they can access everything all in one place. Okay, so that's going to be a lot of fun. So what I'll do, I'll text you the card over in about an hour because I will be losing the signal in about five minutes. Okay, okay so in about an, in less than an hour, I'm going to text it over to you and we'll communicate via text. Is that okay with you? That's fine. Thank you again. You got it, Queen. Congratulations and welcome to the family. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, guys, it's now 3.08. We've been here for five hours now, which was not bad at all. So what we can do, guys, let's connect with each other, start sending each other some DM back channel um, messages. And most importantly, remember, we're going to be back here at 10 p.m. this evening, okay? So it's such a pleasure. I'm going to close the room down, and uh, we'll connect via text or back channel, guys. Sounds good, Sean. Thank you for having All me. Right. I just sent you another back channel request. You got it, Arvin. Thank you so much, Sean. I appreciate you. All right. Okay. Thank you all. Bye. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.